Hello. I have the stream started. Hello. And my cat's gonna be crying into my mic. Not that cat. <laughs> So, uh, what we're gonna do here, I suppose, is I'm going to hand everybody the, uh, the HUDs, and Sally will be handing you a package based on what class you want to be. So, go ahead and everybody pick a, a class. I think the, uh... uh... Account register button for people who have not participated before. Oh, yeah, let's see if I can get that out. Do can you I still what use the old called? CBS HUD? No. no. It's severely out of date. Do we I need figured. to, like, type in local chat what class we want? You do not. It'll pop up on your titler. Yep. Okay. As soon as I hand you the titler, all you need to do, I'll, I'll step you through in a second. Let me just get out. This. I, I think the newer data HUD actually does the registration the first time. Uh, alternately, I think it was named account creator. Right. I just got to find it in my GM crate. Does it matter who reses it out, or...? I don't think so, but I found it anyway. Oh, no, wait, that's the abilities crate. He just named it account creator. I got it right here. Okay, so I am going to hand you a box with the two HUDs in it. And then when I do so, you will put them on, and you will go to the options menu, and that's where you'll set up your information, and then you'll go up to one of those boxes over there, and pick the class that you want. And then Sully will hand you your class kit. So, I'm gonna do Q first, no, sorry, Casey. Gwendolyn, Gwen, Scarlet, Tuyi, Sliffer, Malari. Uh, why did I almost call you Theo? Uh, Tejadora and Raven. I'm gonna give one to Mana, even though she's probably just going to bite it. Why'd you give me that? I don't know. Okay, you will see... Uh, this the just has a heal HUD. button script in it. What? Yeah, it's just only got a script in it that says CBS heal button. Yeah, it's not, it's not a HUD. I think you clicked the. Uh, hang on, let me move the actual. Yeah, but then how does Q area. have the? Uh, because you Sully's... guys were targeting an invisible prim. Yeah, Sully left yeah. their invisible heal prim down. Yeah, I, I moved it up, so it should be good okay. now. Why is size that down and get that out of the way? It's it's been in my way like five times already. I, I just said it's out of the way now. It's good. Okay, if you get that uh, account uh, thing where it says your key doesn't exist, have you created your account, you're going to step over to me while wearing the HUD and click on this this key creator box. This will set up your account. Where did you go? Right over here, right behind this cactus. Stupid unsexy cactus. How do you guys like our new sandbox? 
Well, I have Chelsea's Roseberry name in mind. That's okay, that's just what it's set to. Yeah, I'll put it on before giving it to you, so it'll default to uh, Chelsea, but... If you click the Options button on your Data Hut, you can go through there and set everything up. Yeah, you will hit the Options menu, and then go to Setup, and then you can uh, go to Name, Species, Gender, Titler. Uh, you don't need to hit Load Class, that's because you don't have a class yet. I already have key stuff. That should be a non-issue, Alari. But yeah, if you are set to uh, Chelsea Roseberry, just uh, come over here, create your account, and then go to Options again, set up, and then put in your relevant class stuff for your your stuff. You can also just do a reset too in the options menu. That fixed it. Okay. When you have your titler set up, you can come over here and pick on... All you have to do is click one of these boxes to get your class and your job. And you should see... You should hear a sound, and you should see your titler change. And you will change yourself to a one star or whatever, which is basically level one. There are five level tiers... Each one has a star, so if you see somebody walking around with five stars, they're basically max level. Me. Yeah. Oh, I just noticed you added a game log chat bar in there, didn't you? Yeah, you can click it to uh, hide it. You can also click hide HUD to get everything off the screen if you need to. That is awesome. Also, once you have your class and your job selected, I want you to stand over next to this crystal and wait for everybody else to catch up to you. Uh, Sully will start handing you your class packages when you are standing over there. Over here with Sylpha? Yes. There will be some documentation in your class packages that Sully wrote that will give you an idea of what your class does and what it can equip. And I would like to reiterate, this test does not have every ability or every class. We have selected only a handful of, uh, you know, weapons, a handful of classes, and a handful of abilities to test. There will, you know, be a lot more on actual release. Also, while you're standing next to the crystal, uh, you can click the crystal to set your home point there. So when you die, you should warp back there. Unless you get revived. Perfect. Uh, what did you miss, Raven, so I can catch you up? No, we're gonna be a priest. We're gonna be healers. Raven? You should probably start the event. In the Discord. I don't know. It does that automatically. No, it doesn't. You have to click uh, it. Yeah, it does. Oh, we could argue about this all day, you two. I've only set up every single one of them. Mm, Sully, I think I accidentally hit the mute button. Do you know how I undo that and then get the thing you just sent me? Uh, I do uh, not know. You muted Sully? Look at you. <laughs> is that, no, is that what you're saying? Hey, why is I policy? I Well, Try I don't have the folder in any case. 
what did you mute? Sully themselves or the box or what? Uh, oh, nope, there it is. Okay. Again, once you have finished setting up your class, I want you to come over here. Or, sorry, once you set up your HUD, come over here and click on these boxes to get your class and your job, and then stand over next to the crystal. Click the crystal, bind yourself to it, and then wait for Sully to come over and give you your class package. Then I will proceed. Uh, once I have given you your package, if you could scoot off to the side somewhere, that'd be helpful. Yeah, just stand over here next to Sliffer if you have your package. Don't proceed further. Just open the package and start reading the documentation. Don't equip anything or do anything yet. Just make sure everybody's caught up here. Yay, text. <laughs> okay, sorry, we got a new Roomba. I'm still showing everybody how it works. I feel that. Okay, what? Where? Where did you, we leave off with you? What? What do you need me to tell you to do? Where were you? I haven't received a class package yet. Okay. I did I give you, you one. I want you to come over here first and pick your class and your job. I did. Okay. And come did. over to the crystal and click it, and then bind yourself to it. Then Sully will hand you the night package. No, I already gave it to him okay. earlier. Oh, oh, sorry, I, I thought it was under, like, um, received items or something, but it was in my inventory. Once you have your class package, come over here with everybody else, open it, and pull the documentation out of it, and start reading it while we're waiting. Don't equip anything or do anything with it yet. We will... I, I want to get everybody caught up first before we continue, so just only be reading that documentation. Okay, Alari, Scarlet. Uh, Scarlet's not in voice. I just gave Scarlet their package. Scarlet's not in the voice. Yeah. Let's say they're in another call. Yep. Messing with Melna on her YouTube. I think all we're missing now is uh, Jason and Lily. I'm here. Oh, neat. So we can like link all of our uh, stones onto something like this. Unrigged and that we can just wear on our person. And the final version, right now they're set to no modify, yeah, so you will right. not be able to do that. On release, they right, will be right. mod, and you can do that. You can put them on, you can slot them in your weapon, you can wear them in a bracelet, you could attach them all to one prim and just make them one attachment. Nice. As long as they are like worn as a group, don't try to take the scripts out and combine them. But yeah, right. you will be able to just make them one attachment. I plan on just inserting them into my weapon, like materia or whatever. Uh, I'd probably get that uh, like mana amplifier that Graves has and just stick them all on there somewhere. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Do, yeah. do you have the Do you have the testing hood, Lily? Uh, let me hand that to Lily. Yeah, I don't have anything yet. I'm is it okay. Is it too late to join the uh, the beta test? Nope. Nope. We are hop just on beginning. right on in. Where the hell have you been? We've been trying to tell you you got hacked. Here's Jason. Lord. Just got it. Alright, I'm on my way to where people are at. To save the day and be fabulous. How you doing, by the way, Luke? Can't complain. Where do I need to go? Go to the hub and then go to the build area. 
Lily, uh, get the stuff out of that box. And you want to attach everything, the titler, the combat HUD, and the data HUD. Yeah. Look, go over here. Once it's attached, uh, you can let me know. That's the done section, Luca. Wait, I need to go over to this side? Yep. Okay, sorry. Over there. Okay, I, I wasn't sure. Okay, it's uh, attached. Okay, hit the options button. I'm getting a, I'm getting a script error, though. What's the that script happens. error? It's a script trying to stop animation but permission, trigger animation permission. That, sh it should, that shouldn't affect anything. We all got that. Okay. Yeah, it's once you hit accept for the roleplay experience. Is it the... Uh, hit the... Hold on. Let me give Mal... Or sorry, uh, Val his. <laughs> Stand by, Lily. Okay. Okay, uh, take the stuff out of that box. Wear all of the things. Let me know when you do, Vel. Oh, uh, what box? I don't see a box. I'm talking to Vel. Oh. One second, Lily. I'm waiting for him to catch up so I can do both of you at the same time. Got all three added. And Jason's here. Okay. Jason said he just wanted to watch. Kinky. He's welcome to join, but he said I'm gonna watch. Anyway, Lily, hit the uh, the button that says options and Val, and then you can hit setup. Okay. You don't need to worry about load class, but you know, titler lets you put stuff in your titler. Name sets your name. Species sets your race. Gender sets your gender, and that'll set up your your titler bar real quick. Let me know when you two are done. Put testing crap in there for now. It doesn't really matter. I think it's funny. I just realized that Relina has this like fluff on her the on her armor on her neck, and she's like, <laughs> so those. Uh, well, oh, I'll wait. Once you, once Lily and Vel are ready, if you want to come over here. Make sure you read the boards behind me, but you can go ahead and click on the class and job that you want, and you'll see your your uh, titlers change, and it'll make a sound. Sorry guys, I'm just catching up these last two people, and we'll begin. Okay. I'm trying to pick the class now. When you pick it, just click on the one you want. For the, uh... Other two on the bottom, what... Uh, four on the bottom, which ones are we click? Does anyone? Or is that set? The... It's your job class. Okay, the so one... are, they, are they set? I clicked on Scholar and I didn't get anything. Click now, Scholar again. is your job class, the top four are your combat jobs. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just saying, I clicked on the bottom one, but I didn't see anything pop up. And you, have, you have to, like, override your current class. It has an option for that. We should pop up a notification. Okay. It'll say change class, like a pop-up will pop up. I, I got it. And... I got it? I'm not sure. No, you're still set as freelancer. Val, Val, you're done, so I want you to go over to where Sally is and get your class uh, box. Okay, you're walking right past them. You're walking right past them. First of all, click that crystal. Oh, both Sally. Of, both of you click the crystal and bind your uh, home point to there. That's where you'll go when you die, and then go over to Sally, and then they'll give you your class package. Okay. Okay. Over to Sally. 
And then when you have your class not packet, not you want to go over to the big group and you want to res it down and you want to get into the the instruction manual out first before you mess with anything else in there. That is a lot of jellies over there. What the fuck, Sally? What did you do? That is a lot of... What the hell? Are they retaliating or something? <laughs> okay. You, you said uh, Sally... Sally. Hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm working on it. Got, like, three conversations oh. going at once. Oh no no, yes. I just wanted to make sure I went to the right person, that's all. You're right there, just don't move. Go over to the okay. big crack kits and details. I wonder if any of them have duplicate numbers. That would be bad. We're gonna talk about that afterwards, but I'll wait. What, the duplicate numbers? We got three healers. No, just that it's numbers set in front of the thing in the first place. I don't like that. Uh, as healers, our job will be the funnest as all. We have to make sure everyone stays alive. There's a reason for it. I know there is, but we'll talk about it afterwards. Okay, got it. Is Jason in here? He is. Jason decided to join. He's not talking. Okay. No, he's typing. Okay, Jason, get all the stuff on, like, take your titler and your light HUD stuff off. And put this stuff on in the box that I just gave you. What are the jellies rolled to zero? I shouldn't even set it so you could do that. The power of what? jelly. The power of jellies. They break the rules. The power of jelly compels you. Well, the jelly just said it didn't want to, so... Jelly went ee! This is gonna be such a low FPS stream. <laughs> It is pretty like I'm watching it now. It's just all of the avatars and Sally's massive amount of tails. Also, it's like good five minutes behind now. Well, that's how live streaming is. Yeah. Yeah, it's more you and your buffering rate. Okay, uh, click this key creator here, Jason, to create your account. If you got that error. Now, I want you to go to the options, hit the, the button that says options, and then click setup. And then from there, uh, you don't need to worry about the load class button, just uh, update your title or name, species, and gender to whatever the hell you want. Just put a test or whatever. Nice. Nice and classy, Jason. Good job. Then go over here and click the, uh, click on the box for the job and class that you want. <laughs> Again, I want to reiterate that this is not all of the classes, abilities, and jobs that will be available on launch. This is just a small handful for the test. Okay, Jason, I want you to go to the crystal and click it and bind your home point there. Okay, give me one second here. Uh, I worked the staff I gave you in the caster kit, so I'm giving you all a fresh one that will work. Oh, yay. Once you have your home point set there, Jason, go join the rest of the group, and then Sully will hand you your class kit. And then you will open it up and read the instructions first before touching anything. I'm already digging the stones and the um, campsite thing. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Don't res any of that out yet. I have my staff. 
have a stick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Luca might be a little spoiled right now. Yeah. He's a stick on the ground. <laughs> a very <laughs> big, pointy, fiery stick. <laughs> the only complaint I have is that it doesn't have combat HUD, but it is modifiable. You could probably add one if you wanted it. Okay. Jason, did you get your class? Okay, Sully just handed it to you. Now, uh, Sully, can you hand me the rogue class pack? Just so I can look. Okay, once you have your class folder, you'll notice that it will come with a few items. A, uh, and a few ability stones and an armor and some weapons. There was my cat. Oh, I don't get a folder. Cute little Squeak. It's a squeakers. I'm sn well, Nara, I'm sniffing. Oh, what? I'm sniffing. So this part is pretty easy. To equip a, an, an ability, you just attach it. You just wear it to any attachment point. You don't res it out. You just you have to wear it, and then a menu will pop up asking you what ability slot you want to equip it into. You probably want to pop out the ability hotbar first, so you can see your slots. Next, uh, to equip um, anything else, you just res it on the ground and click it. So items will go into your item slot. Equipments and you know weapons will go into your item slot. Or sorry, your weapon and armor slot. And you should see the icons change when you equip them. Do note, uh, I think I may have put this in the note card. Uh, um, where the fuck did that thought go? What was I saying? You put this in the note card? Yeah, what, what did I put in the note card? Though? You said something and it reminded me of something and then I forgot what it was. You can either wear or res any equipment. Right, right, that was it. Ability stones have to stay attached to function with the uh, combat HUD. Yeah, but you do not have to wear... You do not have to keep wearing the weapons or the armors or the items. You just res them out, slot them, and you're done. Pick them back up and keep them in your inventory. On 1.0... They function like the same items that we have in Light Hut, where they're no copy, but they're transfer. This is so people can make armors and give them to somebody, but they're no copy. However, Ability Stones, they are no copy as well, but you have to keep them worn to continue using them. So, Ability Stones are the only thing you have to wear. And I did put a note about this in the card, but just to reiterate... Uh... At launch, you'll be able to link your stones together so they can only take one attachment slot. Yeah. Yay! Oh, cool, Al. It shows a little icon of the armor in when you have it on. Yeah. Indeed. That's adorable. Yeah. Uh, Does it save the weapons and potions? You probably want to um, put a healing, like, slot a healing potion into your belt, too. Now, potions are um, pretty unique. They're consumable items, so when you click them and slot them, you'll see that they change to used up, and then they're basically just inert objects, and you can delete them. You will not be able to reuse them again. Uh, but they stay in your slot, and when you need them, uh, several they usually have like a number of sips. So... Usually potions, you know, like have two or three like drinks before they're empty, and then you'll see your item slot, um, like be emptied. Anyway, once you guys have equipped your abilities, your weapons, your armors, and your items, uh, we can move on to the next phase. Do you want to do PVE first, Sally, or PVP? Can, do you have only a one at a time, right, for the potions? Yes, and if you equip a new one, it deletes the old one. So Good be sure to know. use your potions before equipping a new one. Yeah, and you do not need to use your potion right now because they are no copy. Use them when you're damaged. 
Mm -hmm. But Limit uh, one potion per turn. Like I said at the beginning of the test, though, uh, the plan was to just set them up with all their kits, make sure everything worked, and then we will turn them loose to do whatever the hell they want for the next couple of hours. Okay, so uh, Jason rezzed his ability stones all over the floor. So you need to pick those up, and you need to wear them, Jason. You see them all over the floor? You do not res them out on the floor, you wear them. Equipments and items and everything else goes on the floor. No, they will not function, Jason. You need to wear them. You res them on the floor. Well, technically they'll function, but only as long as you're standing on them. Well, that's not how they work. You have to wear them. <laughs> I should probably make sure that's an attach event. It doesn't matter if the, the ability stone visually shows you having slotted them. They have to be worn. Note that when you unequip or derez a stone, it will also be removed from your list. You, you got him, Jason. Uh, so you'll see that a lot of you have HP bars over your head. Not yet. Uh, if you go into initiate combat or leave combat, that will go away. Cool. Hey, Slipher's already casting things on people. I don't even see the initiate combat <coughs> portion. It should no, be. I already found two yeah. bugs. Define. We found two bugs. Oh, that's cool. Umbra can't be used by the sorcerer or sorcerer class, and ice spikes is unusable with present stats. That's Sully's fault. That's not a bug. Yeah, that's just a balancing oversight that Sully <laughs> made. I don't I think mean, Umbra was supposed to, be... to go to you anyway. I think it was supposed to go to something else, but I don't... actually, fair. no, never mind. Umbra will end up going to the warlock. But Please keep for in this mind, test, Lana... because we have very limited. You know, classes to play with for the test. If you're not in a rest area, mana regenerates at a rate of three points per turn. Energize oh. is also unusable. Why? What is the reason it's giving? It's a priest. It's a priest. Um, isn't it? Unable to be used with present stats, sir. Yeah, because priests can energize, but not others. No, it's a priest and sorcerer ability. Not enough mana or stamina. You probably said it's like need 10, and you only give sorcerers 8. Mm, oh, so that's, no, everybody has 10 AP. I have 8. You have 8 MP or AP? AP. Uh, hit, hit and turn. No, I mean the bar only goes up to 8. It's 3 out of 8 right now. Hit and turn. Give me a second. Did it reset to 8? God, it did, in fact, angel. reset to 8. Oh, God damn it. So is that a bug, Zav, or is that just a... Uh, uh, hang on, let me find out. Let me look, let me open up did the class. Did you set and... anything that reduces AP amounts? We don't know. Shouldn't be. Know. Melna and Mana had it originally in the armor, but that was supposed to have been removed. Uh, well, no, it was never in light armor, I don't think. Oh, maybe I put on heavy armor. Let me change my armor. Damn it, Sliffer. Look in the I mean, bottom you... right corner. See what image is in that slot. Is it is it metal or is it... Is it a little... I do not have oh. anything in my bottom right corner. I have my main weapon and offhand and that's it. It doesn't say uh, no armor. Nope. The hell? Is it off screen? You should have three slots on the right hand side of the combat hut saying take off all, no accessories, or no armor. Or whatever accessory or armor. I can't use barrier. It says wrong class. Yeah, Melo told me that was the night one. It may not have been. Give me a second. Yeah, it look doesn't up. add any AP on it. Give me a second, I gotta go through and find the sorcerer uh, updater here. Well, while Selly is looking at that, I want to go over how PvP for combat's gonna work. So, you notice that there is an in turn button. Now, obviously, for the first iteration of CBS, and we 
are planning a possible change of this in the future. Turns are tracked manually, unfortunately. So when somebody is in PvP with another person, the first person will go, and then they will spend all of their AP that they possibly can doing whatever they want until they are out, and then they will hit end turn. Then the next person will be signaled to go, and they will spend all of their AP, and they and then they will hit end turn. When you hit end turn, it will uh, regenerate your AP, so on your next turn you'll be able to do something again. So it's so, not just going to be a race to who can do the most damage before everyone dies. Correct. You You have to take turns. I changed my armor and now I have 13 max AP. Well, what did you put on the first time? Was it the heavy armor? Ah, must have been. Okay. Uh, well, you shouldn't have 13. No, what I'm armor? still here. It was with light armor. What armor did you just put on? Uh, light. Okay, let me look at the light template here. I think light did gives just, some AP. Did it just like it? completely set your, your HP to 13? Uh, yeah, I have 13 max AP right now. Oh, AP, okay. Now, so does everybody understand what I was saying about the turns? The turns will have to be, unfortunately, manual. We're, we're working on an ATB system of this later. But, uh, yeah, like, you can, e ev on your turn, you can either move or attack, and this will consume AP. And then when you're out of AP, you hit and turn, and then the next person goes until people die. You all understand? So basically, when, when people get into a fight, you'll have to establish a post order. Like, you know, a, like a, any dice combat system or freeform combat, so you'd have to have a post order. It's just this does all of the math for you, but you still have to track the turns manually. Now, when it comes to PvE, if you come over here, you don't have to worry about that. The the monsters know whose turn it is and everything. You guys can just wail on monsters as much as you want. However, they still need strategy to die because they they do a particular thing where the person that hits them gains a tally, a hate tally. So aggro is a thing. And tanks should be equipped, like Rylena here, with a taunt. And what this does is reset the tally, and um, so the tank needs to be constantly casting... Um, yeah, if you put an AoE on that, they're all going to hit you. But see, you, you damaged all of those jellies with your AoE. But uh, So what the tank will need to be doing is casting taunt and constantly hitting the target that the party wants them to hit. So they constantly have the most hate built on them. So the oh, jellies are... will, will be targeting them. There are far too many jellies here. Fixed it. There's still too many jellies. I get you it. You may have hurt can them, we, but you we... didn't. I'm so... But yeah, in PvE, you can end your turns whenever you want, but the, the jellies will be listening for when you end turn, and also whoever has attacked them the most. And they will fight the person who is ending the turn on a certain round, or uh, whoever has the most hate. And you would w like to ideally have Raven have the most hate, because they have the most HP. Question. Here's, here's another thing to keep in mind. AoEs can hit friendlies, too. Yeah. Up! Oh, I stopped getting AOE target selection pop-ups. You did what? Never mind, did you server's lagging. The oh yeah, it, that shouldn't be physically possible. God, it's just an AOE it's on the just, party. It's just, just a bunch of a bunch of stuff going on, and I'm just standing Was here. Was me? I thought we were waiting to start to. Cast oh, somebody, somebody cast Aegis and put it a barrier on the entire party. Yeah. Also, AOEs don't or uh, AOs and don't stop. A bunch of the mobs. I roasted a jelly. Wait, can you get put barriers on the jellies by it? No. Yes, you can. Oh, oh you can. <laughs> you can absolutely buff okay, the enemies. Okay, so yeah. All right. Oops. So here's the thing. With AOEs, you need to keep them away from your team unless they are positive. In that case, keep them away from the enemies. 
Please keep in mind that the bottom middle button of the targeting selection will choose your last selected target. Oh, that's good to know. As long it's as we still that exist. Didn't have a number, but it had the tilde. What? Why did I? Why did I get hit? I didn't even attack anything. I don't know. AOE. Oh, in an AOE. Um. By the way, as a heads up for anyone casting stuff, the AOs do not stop on their own. So when you want to stop your avatar from animating, go pick it up from the avatar they menu. Stop. They will stop eventually. They end. It takes a few seconds. They just yeah. They're just really long. I should probably animations. shorten that. It's just random when you get hit by an AOE, and then, like, I don't have a marker or nothing over my head. That's so we're gonna do a- this, this is a bit chaotic here, and these AOEs are- these- these jellies are spamming chat, by the way, Zav. We're gonna have to fix that, but- Huh? What do you mean they're- Oh no, Scarlet down and down! They're just screaming all sorts of crap. Oh, also, you guys will notice, uh, that they are dropping things. They are dropping they materials. Yes. If you hit, if you go to your data HUD on the left and hit the inventory little backpack icon, you can see how much money and uh, type of resource you have. Ten minus two. Oh, nice. My HUD is completely frozen. I'm trying to revive Scholar. The sim may be lagging really hard right now. Well, yeah, everybody's just spamming yeah, everything I, instead of waiting. I can't move, and my HUD is completely frozen. Oh, that's because. Wait, is your green bar empty? No, it's at 9 of 14. I can't move and I can't leave combat. I can't end turn. I can't do anything. Oh, dear. Shall we start over? What did you do before that happened? I did just... I don't, it just happened. Like, I don't know. I was trying to attack a jelly. Then I got a stack heap. Um, error. You got a stack heap? Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, uh... Detach and reattach the HUD, and that should reset it. You're gonna have to reattach all of your items, though. Send me the actual. No, that won't. I'll just say the name of it. So stack heap is possible. I need to free up more memory. Good to know. How much more mana does revive cost? A lot. Oh Jesus. Uh, revive is an extremely expensive spell for a reason because it can be cast while you're fighting a boss. Uh, you may just want to release and go back to the rock. It's not really that much of a walk. Just just spam end turn to regain mana. <laughs> yeah, that's fine here because we're testing this. It will not work in the future. Right. If you spam end turn around enemies, they'll just punch you. I'm also testing it because I want to see if I can revive Scarlet. Malna's that bullying me. Like 80... I think that cost like 80 mana, that's not it too seems bad. seems to be stuck permanently in this animation. What's your HP at? The animation will stop. Don't need to do anything. Whoa, why Should. is it spamming shit in the chat? Because people are exiting combat and ending turns. Yeah, it only, ends, it only shows the end turn now though, that's the better part. Yeah. Most it of the combat messages are in the, the combat bar. We're still going to have to do some cleanup of these combat messages, especially with the jellies. I don't know why the jellies were screaming tons of numbers, but... I don't know. I didn't get to see what version of the NPC they were running the, before They were, they were the older one. Yeah, before it's, 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 it's very likely that was one of the debug versions or that we were testing with, and it's probably fixed in the new one that is on Fred. Everybody leave combat. Uh, don't leave try combat. to move... Yeah, leave combat. Make sure the health bar is uh, off over your head. Because we're going to move to another location. Oh, that's Gayoko who's stuck eating shit and just messing with my head. Like, who yeah. is eating an apple continuously? It's not an it's, apple, it's popcorn. I know, it sounded like an apple to me, I don't know. So what do you guys think about the new animations and the sounds and like how combat is working so far? So far, I love the a Aegis. I love the Aegis design, honestly. Oh, that's what's happening, okay. Line 562, comment out. That should not be active, that was part of the debug system. I really hate that there's a stack heap in there. Why do you detach, Tezzy? Uh, 
I am very excited for new system. Okay, fix debug messages and let's Ellie go. I backstabbed Raven. It's a good thing I wasn't involved in combat. Why? Right. Wow. Rude. So, uh. Oh, there you are, Henry. Sally, did you figure out exactly what was going on there? Absolutely no idea. It's all correct in the templates and the updaters. Probably wearing the wrong armor. I think they were wearing that's the a, wrong armor, but... Well, that's that's the thing, is even if they were, it shouldn't do that. Because heavy armor removes 5 AP. They have 10 AP, so they should have had 5 AP. Maybe now I have armor. 13 AP. Yeah, which <laughs> that, it doesn't make any sense. How did you get 8? Wait, like nothing how... Nothing removes 2 AP. How much is it supposed to remove? Five. Is it based off of your class? Uh, tank classes have 15 AP at base to compensate for heavy armor. Okay, I have, so... I currently have 14 AP as a tank with heavy I, armor. That's what I was about to say. I was, I'm 14 AP as yeah. a tank. This is what I was saying okay, last so night, too, Something's Sally, funny with the... Some, something's a little off with the gear, with the stats, because as a knight, I had 100 instead of 96 HP. Like everybody has just like a little bit more or a little bit less in their spot, so we're gonna have to it, look at that. But this may be part of what uh, Mal was talking about. Probably was, but that's not a big issue. We can still conduct the rest of the test. You guys got some sort of idea of what's going on here, correct? These are just small little balancing yeah, concerns yeah. we need to iron out, mm -hmm. but the game is still functioning basically as intended, just with certain stats missing here um so let's move over to let me res out a bunch of these if you want to move over to me call a big crap bella holy the, the white ass moon of uh use eight one not eight I, I just sent it to you are oh i didn't update the script name god damn it yeah that's fine so, uh, kill these blocks, guys. What did you do to this, by the way, Zav? So, uh, well, this has the... It, it dropped the debug text, and more importantly, you got a stack spam heap enter, again. and it's going to kick your dick in. What did you do this time to get the stack heap? I clicked main weapon. Okay, yeah, I definitely absolutely need to move that. I got Were you in combat or not? Yes, I, I, I initiated combat, I clicked main weapon, and I got a stack heap error. A stack heap collision. Yeah, I think your character name is something weird because you are using far too much. I'm gonna try, free up. Uh, tr try, reattach everything, Rylena, and then just set your name to just Rylena with no Roseberry. I, I just want to test to make sure there was a bug going. Like, if there are too many letters in your name, it like fucks up, and we're gonna have to fix that. But I want to test. No, I already did test. fix the too many letters. Are there any special characters in your name? No. There is not. No, yeah, no, no. Okay, so that's not that then. Scarlet is dead. Something is going on that you're using. Oh, I didn't account for the fucking descriptions. Oh. Uh, is it because I have the. You're good. Is it because I have the parentheses? It has a red circle. I it need still sells the red circle, yeah. Then maybe uh, the difference in me need. Okay, so I've been waiting i'm trying to figure out i'm seeing people just run over i'm seeing a bunch of aoe spells i'm not understanding how to get into combat or anything like that i you see the little button in the bottom right says initiate combat yes move up to That's the how. target and then hit your main weapon button there you go scarlet your button or hit one of the abilities that you've slotted on your ability bar some of these slimes are not despawning from the look of them Oh no, none of them will because he didn't use the kind that dies. He used the kind that resets when you kill it. Yeah, these are basically training slimes. And all of them are still attacking me even when they're dead. Because there's <laughs> probably no... Alright, everybody... That's because, everybody... They, that's because they don't actually die. They, they're, they're running the training dynamic script, so instead of dying it just resets. I, I don't know why you res these. Because you gave them to I, me, Dangus. I don't either. As an update, yes. Oh. Uh, yeah, an, an update to fix later, not something we needed right now. Okay, everybody leave right. combat. Picking Those are up. the ones that actually uh, will attack if 
you end to turn around them too many times. Those are the ones that are designed yeah. for tank actual functionality. Okay. Yeah, so well, I, I don't wanna... know. I don't know what's going on. I have stack heap collision every time I click main weapon. Give me a minute to fix it. Okay. Uh, Melna, I'm dumping all the functionality where if you are out of combat and you click main weapon offhand, it gives you all the stats and people can just use the gear stats button. Yeah, we don't need that. That Real saves quick. about two meg. Real quick, Melna, which one was the was ward or barrier supposed to be the physical one? Barrier. Wait, ward is the magic one. That much text somehow eats up two megs of memory in LSL. What the yep. fuck? LSL is bullshit. Uh, yeah, uh, saving that much text and the uh, related uh, arguments and functions. Yes. Well, while you're it, at it, you it was, can uh, get, uh, take it off of the offhand, the armor, and the accessory too, because that. Oh, that, that's what I did. I took it off of everything. Now, if you click it out of combat, it does nothing. It makes a little beepy noise. Yeah. A stack oh, wait, heap no, collision the, uh, is what happens when like a script runs out of memory. The item slot still does it. Why is the item slot still doing it? Anyway. Oh, it has to. That's why. What we are okay. going to do is I want to try to fight uh, a big monster that will retaliate when people are ending turns and it will require some teamwork. So we're going to move up here to Fred. Why are you taking over the test plan I had laid out? Okay, you the go. community. The idea was just let them run loose and actually go and fight the things and get better gear before they go and fight the big boss. Sully, okay. please put uh, version 8. Oh, I didn't actually update the script number, did I? Shit. Can I ask a question? No. What's hogging what your noggin? Question, uh, so the I because I was like you're saying get better gear and stuff like that. What I'm over here doing I, because the first thing I thought I thought about was the 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 job classes, the jobs. I guess that's what you're calling them, jobs. Uh huh. It's like the miner stuff like that. I saw that I, I chose miner. I see there's rocks over here, right? So. I noticed that there's an energy system. Is there a way that you can gain back said energy? Not right this Hi. moment. Oh. Uh, well, that doesn't work now either. Oh, Spending fun. the night in an inn and paying money Oof. or eating food will give you energy back, which we don't There have. will be. There will be. No, there's in just... Game, in game money, not L. Not L. Not Linden's. I, 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 okay, so... If I so if I was to use up all of my energy, you wouldn't be able to craft or mine or harvest things for the rest of the day. So there's an energy system to CBS. I see that now. Is so is it on a actual like day timer yeah, thing? Yeah, I think we're gonna set it to twelve hours and then it resets. There will be, this is a good one too, you don't run. Mm -hmm. there, there will be several different ways you can restore your EP at launch. There just isn't one configured for this test. Okay, that was that was what I was wondering. Cause... Yeah, all the uh, materials you need should drop from the monsters as well. The nodes were just there just to see if anybody could break them in any way. Well, Quick I question. probably... I probably have an EP thing. I'll look at that after I finish these five other things I need to look at. What's up, Sleepy? Is enchanting only supposed to give, like, one point of damage? It's based on your enchanter rank. It's, uh, the higher level enchanter you are, the bigger the range for the enchant becomes. So yeah, it's like one damage if you're a level one enchanter, but a level five enchanter might be like, like two and five. Okay, I actually have a, a question. Um, hmm. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, we will talk about that later because that's not. That's gross. What? The, the question I have real quick is are we going to work on how much it spams the general chat to make turn over and over and over? Well, getting back a MP. It, yeah, that's not how you're supposed to be doing that. 
Oh no! You're not supposed to be taking your turn until someone else ends theirs yeah. in actual play. This is just a test, so people are spamming things that they shouldn't. Yeah, in actual in actual play, so one person would be going at a time, so there wouldn't be nearly this much spam. But also, these monsters are just shitting out a whole bunch of like unnecessary like numbers for no reason. So we're gonna clean. Yeah, that's that when up. they're being hit by abilities. I already fixed that in the new patch. Right. I think the whole point okay. of this is to, we're trying to break what Xavier has been working on, basically. Uh, that, that message is the type of the damage that's hitting it, and the type of the armor that the monster has. Raven, have you been able to do anything, or does it just keep breaking on you? No, I finally, I, I detached everything and reattached everything. Oh, you put barrier on yourself. No, I did not. Or somebody put ward I put, on you. I've been putting barrier on everyone. Now again, that 9.9 .9 version has enough memory that it should not stack heap. Okay, so as a uh, here's so I, we've got it. We do, do we have it an, uh, annotated down that as a don't tank? Run. Well, I don't know what it is. I was trying to use barrier as a tank, and I cannot mm. use it. I am been trying to work on that for like the past ten minutes. Yeah, I think okay. I just want. We guys, the there, there are oversights that were made in some of the things that are not working completely as intended, but this is the reason why we did the test. We've already I'm actually fairly it. pleased with this, because all that's in balancing, not in the actual code. And I understand that. I just wanted to make sure that was annotated yes. down. Thanks, so we, thanks Kurt. Yep, we have we the wrong barrier. Yeah, we, we, no, we, we have a, uh, a class that doesn't just quite have enough MP to cast the, the thing that it was made for, but that's not a big deal. We just got to go change some stuff. Well, no, what it was is, the remember, I had lost my barrier stone, and I asked you to give me one back, and the one you gave me was labeled barrier, but it had ward scripts in it, so it was the priest ability. Ah. So I'm correcting that and making a uh, separate version of okay. barrier to hand out to our knights. So, that problem with Sli uh, Sliffer was never a problem at all, it was just a... No, the thing with Sliffer is completely different, like, somewhere along the way, AP calculations are fucked. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look into it, give me a minute. Yeah, cause I have 13 AP as well, and I'm a priest. There's some more I enemies over things. here, guys. Now, some monsters have elementals. I don't know if these are set to them, but... The wood guys did, and the jellies did as well. The jellies were weak to physical, the wood guys were weak to fire. Yeah, and these guys are going to be fire, I'm assuming. So if you use a fire spell on them, they will absorb it and heal themselves. Or I, or I think they'll just absorb it. So do not use fire on them. It's gotta watch out for those AoEs. It's like they're gonna be weak to water abilities, but we don't. We didn't make a water ability for this one. My face when everyone's just dropping. I love how everyone AOEs. just runs whenever I cast barrier. <laughs> well, it's kind of a knee-jerk reaction. We see red circle. We're like, get the yeah. Out. We need. We're gonna yeah, in the final um, version. We're gonna set buffs so they have a green ring instead of a red ring. I have already I've already started working on that. Nice. It was something I thought of before the test and just didn't have done in time for it. Yeah, so it uh, looks like stamina calculations are pulled directly from the class value, the armor value, and then the accessory value, but we don't have accessories, so that doesn't factor in. Yet. Now, again, notice if you open your backpack icon, you should be getting resources from this, guys. I've not been able to I, it, I've seen I've not been able to really attack much of anything other than getting hit by AoEs constantly. That's because you keep running into the middle of the group. I, no, I'm I was there was no I was outside of the red ring and I still took damage like I, you, I, I You might be taking damage from knights using their point blank AoE ability which does not have a ring. The spin the spin slash yeah, I am yeah. An, uh, that's what I've been sitting checking. Next to, if you were sitting next to Raven. But also, those monsters can hurt you. They don't just sit there and take damage. Yeah, they counter-strike uh, occasionally. Okay, new question. Um, movement. Does it actually lower your AP as you... Yes. yes. Every action AP you take... Good. 
consumes AP. So really, what's going to be happening is on, this is a tactics game. On your turn, you're going to need to con balance consuming your a like your movement AP with what your ability is. And sometimes you're and with melee'ers, you're going to have to move to get up to the target. Melee I mean, weapons have a limited range of efficacy. If you go beyond their weapon distance, they no longer work at full power. To you. <laughs> Barry. Yeah, so, so okay. people can actually kite you. A little for the barrier. If, if you are a knight, please come over to the tails no, for a second. Dead? No, I'm at 12 health though. Oh, uh, hold on, looks like that. I These damn things hit like a truck. Sully, why don't you give me presents? Here, get some healing. You don't deserve any, you just keep breaking everything. Your mere presence is a present. Like, damn, these things take a... These things are <laughs> but those, those are bosses. Ah, there are a whole bunch of them. My god. Well, you've never seen a whole collection of bosses? It's an enclave. Wait, Sully, do these things Clearly also the like, counter mentioned. on the intern? Uh, that's 7-6-A. It does not counter on enter. So what does the shield do? Gives you some defense. That so I don't necessarily need to click on the shield if I have the shield in no. my offhand. Nope. Okay. It just adds passive armor to you. I'm pretty sure I added buff calculations to the enemies. Oh, wow, I'm about down. to die. I need to drink this potion. Who else was a knight? I know we had a few more. Me over here. Luke, Val, over here. Oh, I added debuffs to them, and you can heal them. Now, if you're a knight, please come over to me for a second. Hey, when I was killing a guardian. Here to you, I gave you a regen. Go, go ham. Every time you in your turn, you heal, so... Have to be right up on this guy. Okay, okay. Sally. Sally, I'm coming over to you. I want to see how regen works too. You go ham. We'll be right back. I'm going to get dinner. I can't imagine how chaotic this would be if I actually had finished the. Uh, I did not get any health back from it. What? Kept it in turn. I did hit, hit in turn. Excuse me? I hit in turn and regen did nothing to me. That's weird. Uh. So you did add the regen effect to the regen stone, right? Yeah, I'm going to take a look at it here in a second. I got like five other stones to look at it real quick. Uh, were there any of yours that were actually broken, Seafar, or was it just uh, the M the AP thing? Umbra's not working. As in, you don't have enough to cast it or something else? Says I'm the wrong class. Also, fun fact, I'm enchanting this stick and it's not using any resources because I don't have any. Yeah, I don't think I set those to actually use resources for the test. Oh, okay. Wait, no, because it used it the first time. It deducted 100 ether from me, but I can just keep enchanting this. My face when Mama Weird. IMs me saying that re confirmed regen doesn't work. Oh, you know what? It's because it only has two enchantment slots, and you might... Uh... Yeah, Mel, no, I'll give you a regen, see if it works. Like, it's not... Okay. It might be... Hang on, I have an idea. Let me... Uh... It's working on me. That's weird. Yep, regen worked fine for me. Now it's doing key value fail to read when I pull out this one. Here, you get hurt again. I'll regen you. See if it works. I just did. It decided to punch me. Okay, gave you regen. How much Aether do you have? And turns in you. Yep, gain health. There you go. What the fuck? Uh, that was a weird glitch. I don't know, man. Mm, it fixed itself, so. Yeah, there's currently some weirdness with the data HUD, but uh, I think the combat HUD should be pretty solid. It may just be that you were hit enough to offset. Wow, that's a lot of interns. Scarlet spams in turn just to gain back AP because they're so sore. Please be aware you can also switch over the uh, HUD outputs. If you don't like the little pop-up box, you can have it move to your local chat. Oh, Command wait, you can? Slash 12. Wait a minute. Just type in slash 12 help, 
and you'll see all the commands. If you really want to see all the rules and, and every detail, you can also throw in uh, verbose mode. I don't recommend it. Can I ask? Okay, I have a new question, but I'll wait. Uh, ask quickly because I'm going to go grab dinner real quick. Uh, it's saying that you that I obtained stuff, like I killed something and said I got I obtained something. How yeah. do I find those items? Check That's your not... backpack in your data HUD. Right. I clicked in. I clicked inventory. Is it a physical I see... object or like a resource? It said I obtained a, re a relic thing. It's in your inventory then, your your actual SL inventory. But you I'm need to take sure. it to a. I think. You, yeah. I'm not sure if the poison's working. So. I'll be back in a little while. You're gonna need to take it to a scholar who I who can identify it, I believe. Which is me. Okay, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is like it said I received Pull it out it, of your inventory and read it on the ground. I didn't get anything, is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. I didn't get a single. I like it said. Well, then you're just gay. Well, wait, Jesus. That escalated quickly, but okay. Jose. Uh, pro in all seriousness, it there's probably a bug with it giving it. We'll have to look into that. That that's what I was about to ask. Is it because it's in beta right now that it's possible it's just bugs? That uh, uh yeah, that's what I was trying to. Oh, what are we talking about? Mention. What are we talking about? I killed some. I killed one of the things. It said I found a relic pole arm, relic staff, relic wand was found by my character. I didn't receive anything like actually being sent to me, so I didn't know what to do with that information. That's why I was bringing it to y'all's attention. Yeah. Only supposed to give you one of those. Yeah, region looks like it's unreliable. Might be because you're at the status effect limit. Yeah, because it worked perfectly fine on me. It worked perfectly fine on me once. It's probably because you have, like, five barriers on you. I don't, though. What the fuck? At least not that I can see. Why is this area glowing like the fucking sun? Why did you put lights on them, Sally? I didn't. They just come with those. I do little, little bits of damage. It's so cute. I'm like, I do legit zero damage. Take, these things take three whole backstabs to actually kill. Tough fuckers. What the hell? I just got a message about uh, unable to give in. Oh, I see. Okay, I think I see what's going on, but why is it sending that message to me? I didn't hit that. Like, it stopped working after I backstab a target. I don't know. Right back, I put a course for you up. But, uh, I just realized the staff has, like, almost no magical proficiency. Yeah, it's more for bonking things. The wand is better for... Well, no, the... Why is that true? The staff is supposed to be a 1d100, not 1d25. Check the updater real quick. I wonder if somebody came up here and clicked one of the old updaters that you had out after I did my balancing. Can somebody uh, heal me, please? Well, the cool thing is about those updaters is that we can adjust them like live in this test by resing the mountain. Remember, guys, you have a tent that you can res down and use, and potions. But once they're gone, they're gone.
Other than the minor bugs that we're finding here, this is going pretty well. The effects okay. look good. That is weird. Staff is not pulling from the experience. I wonder if something in the perms is fucking with the experience communication. Hmm. We really need to put a limiter on that end turn button. Yeah. XP gain will be hard for healers. I would. There's no way to get XP when monsters aren't in. going to drop XP. Ever. Okay, good. Only events um, drop XP. I would also allow some of the abilities to be used out of combat and put them on a tick timer when they are, because things like energize are just asking for people to spam in turn somewhere to regain mana. Yeah. Although there is no way for abilities to function outside of combat. Sliffer, we're probably going to pull you aside after this so you can sit down with Sally and we can go over the list of all the, uh, the stuff that you found. Okay. Luca, I see you down there. Yeah, I was trying to do the campsite thing and then it just disappeared. Like, I res my campsite and it just d disappeared on itself. Well, it only stays out for a while. It's a healing area. Yeah, once but... Once it's up, it goes away. I don't think it healed me at all. We'll have to look into it. Uh, okay, you, um... wait. Oh, shit. Hang on. This sort of looks good. Time to backstab Mana. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Don't backstab me. <laughs> love. Mana, what happened? <laughs> Why are you dead? The I'll only... think are going through the ground. The only issue I see so far with this is just how much spam it's gonna be. Well, we already said it's that less we're gonna correct that. The hell we had. No, not know. that. Not that. I'm, I'm, I meant like, like how you said every, like you, like if we were doing like a, a, a like fighting in, uh, NPCs. Like I, the the NPCs aren't gonna spam this much in the final version. That's that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like like see how everybody can just continuously attack and attack and attack and attack, and then they end their turn. It's yeah, gonna be weird. really heavily on having players communicate because like the tanks, you have mages that are just heavily casting AOEs. If we use up all our AP, tanks are gonna get continuously bombarded. We are painfully aware of this problem, and there's really not a lot we can do about it. Yeah. This is the life of a tank. Yeah, keep in mind these kind of battle systems are really sort of based on things like D&D. &D, and guess what happens if you do that in D&D? &D? So, I saw a message that I was supposed to find that I found a relic pole arm on this thing. Was I supposed to get an item? Yes, probably. You were supposed um, to, but something is wrong with the the monster's ability to give the object, and we're looking. At well, I, I think I know what happened there. So what I'll probably do is just give everybody relic types before it's time to go face the boss, so they can play around with that. I, I think we have successfully defeated enough of these mobs. We can sit down and. So what these monsters are supposed to do, and what they will do on 1.0, is give you relics. And you will take them to a scholar. So I'm playing a scholar job class. And uh, they can expend a resource to identify and roll random stats on your relic items. And then you can equip them. Then you can take them to an enchanter who can improve them further. But you would need somebody like a miner or a farmer to be able to gather the resources, correct? Yep. I believe scholars pull up the aether resource, miners pull up the stone or the metal resource, so on and so forth. Farmers get the food resource. Well, I pulled up. I pulled up er, when I tried it earlier. I pulled up both mineral and uh, aether. Yep, that's fine. I, we we I'm set gonna, up a bunch I'm... of test nodes, so they're not indicative of the final version. Okay. Uh, but. Yeah, monsters will drop um, just monster material on their on their own. 
monster material is good for making armors. Metal material will be making weapons. I can't believe Mana let me backstab her. But anyway, so, like, if we were actually doing a PvP match while, like, we're waiting on that, everybody heal up and come over here. We can show you what PvP is going to be like. There'd be a lot less spam with PvP, just because people would be going one at a time, you know? I gotta figure out where you're at for the for that. Are notes supposed to occasionally give nothing? Uh, Possibly. I'll have to crack it up. I, yeah, because um, I assume it's based on a roll, based on what I just saw, and I just had one give nothing. So if you want to pair up with somebody, we can do PvP a little bit here. I mean, I'm fine with that once I figure out how to heal myself. But again, the combat will essentially function like, uh, you know, a, uh, a typical, like, dice combat would, where everybody, ha like, puts themselves in a post order and then will take their turn on their turn. But the HUD will take care of all the math. Now, later on, we are planning sort of an ATP system where it just gets rid of the turns completely and AP just gradually builds up and you can pop off your abilities when you have enough AP. Like, AP will just return to you on a tick. That's a big if, though. It's a big if, but we are trying to to make the system do that in the future so there's there doesn't we don't have to deal with these turns. But until that time, we have the turn system, which I don't feel is that bad. I mean, we can build a turn tracker into it. Yeah, I mean, I have a turn tracker. I mean, the, I mean like, the, the, the HUD is, itself announces when you've ended your turn, so it should be easy enough. It's just pl a player-moderated thing. If somebody goes out of turn, obviously they're going to get screamed at by the players, or a moderator called on them, you know? Oh, Fucking yeah. Leroy Jenkins. Oh, like, Sliver has the Umbra spell working. If somebody does something sus, all, fixed it. All, it, all it's going to take is for somebody to, it's for the person they're doing something stupid to, to hit end combat, get a screenshot and go, hey, this dude doing a dumb. Yeah, so until we have an ATB system working, the, the turns will be on, you know, the honor system, which I don't feel is going to be a problem in this community. You guys have been really good. If they're, if somebody's breaking the rules and going out of turn, you know, just we let a moderator like know. Harley. It's, it's going to be very blatantly obvious if somebody's cheating. You're going to see them ending their turn and they're spamming or they're taking their HUD off or turning off combat mode, you know. That assumes there are multiple... You broke up, what? There's... Absolutely nothing there to prevent somebody from doing that when nobody's around. Question. Not true. I also just killed the boss and Q got like three different relic drops. You killed the boss? Yep. And then Q got like all the relic drops. Yeah. The, the... So what they do is they actually hand out their loot to anybody who actually hit that boss throughout combat. I don't know if it does it for everybody who hit it, it was supposed to, but I also uh, probably set those up wrong. There, there's some funky way yeah. you have to split it, multiple loot, so instead of actually giving out one of three items, it's treating it all as one item. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, it looks like it just threw all of them at one person. Yeah, I, yeah. Give me more. But as you can see, it's mostly working here. We have basically a finished game. We just need to adjust parts of this. Most of the ability songs. Most of it is me needing to also pick enchanting. Song's brain about proper syntax again. Guys, come over here. Let's PvP. What boss did you kill? Was it Fred or just one of these Anubis guys? Fred's dead. What? Who, kill who killed Fred? How did you kill Fred? No, Fred's still there. That was a reference, Melda. 
floors. I'm sorry, I don't see bad movies. Actually, Fred is tight. What happened to Fred? <laughs> That's what I was saying. His belt, his bars are still there, but he's been miniaturized. I've been trying no, to figure out what he's what y'all are talking about, by Fred. He's a pancake. Fred's a health bar. They must have. Oh. Let me go heal. Yeah, that that is what happens when you uh, make the model the root prim instead of the health bar. <laughs> That's what I was saying earlier about if the health bar is not the root root prim, it all breaks. So, how do you guys want to do a PvP? Do you want to have two, like uh, a party versus a party, or just like one on one? I want to have a tank sit there and let me smack them, so I can see if it's still impossible for me just to kill them. I mean, I doubt it is, but I want to kind of make sure since that was an issue okay, last well, time. Okay, well, Alari, go fight Slipper. Right Tanks you. can close the distance and punch you in your nose. Uh, I, so okay, um, every, everybody I stop for a second. I want to I want to observe this fight. Everybody gather around. Uh, can you guys get at least a few meters apart so some AP has to be expended? Uh, like start like twenty. That's that's good right there. So what what we're gonna do is observe a mage fighting a knight. And uh, now I want you guys to specifically do not just spam your abilities or spam in turn. I want you to fight this like you're actually supposed to fight. So, Sliffer will go first, and then Alari. So, Sliffer, go ahead. Both of you initiate combat. Oh, fun fact. If you are more than 20 meters from someone, you cannot engage with them. Okay, so yep, on your I turn, basically to. your task is to just expend all of your AP and then hit end turn, and then Alari will go. Now, keep in mind, movement is a thing here. Movement and jumping expend your AP. Okay, that's an issue. What's up? It expends AP even when you just barely nudge yourself, and then it doesn't, like, keep your distance track. So if I were to start moving again, I'd be down, like, 3 AP, even though I moved hardly any distance. Yeah, Commit. every every meter you move is going to take an AP away. We need some sort of range tracker, then, because I, I cannot tell where my distance actually is without one. Uh, Open control shift A. I mean... Firestorm has one by default. It's called the radar. You could make a pop-up that appears that warns you that you're going to expend AP by moving. Well, but see, now here's the thing. Firestorm is telling me that Alari is actually only 16.67 meters away, but you just said that I should be able to hit them if I was in 20, so, like... No, well, I, I, just, on the range I, told you, I just told you to move away 20 meters. I didn't say, you know... If you're trying to, to use an AOE, they are significantly shorter range than uh, 20 meters. Nope, it's fireball. Oh, okay, well, j um, with that in, that in mind, um, end your turn a bunch, and then leave and enter combat, and we're going to reset. Okay. Why am I in a heal ability, uh, a healing area? Why did I just gain 10 HP? Why am I not? Set up a campground. All right, this is the minimum distance. Over here, like. I'm getting nothing from it. Fireball That's... is. You have to be out of meters. combat. Fireball is 15 meters. Okay. Anyway, take your turn, Sliffer. Okay. What happened? I don't know. I shot them twice, but it looks like they didn't get hit by it. Like, I expended MP and AP and everything. That's odd. How the hell is Awari a five-star miner? What? Yeah, look at Awari. What the... Are they... they might be using the old one that you had a while back, because that had the Alari, stars are you using an old HUD? Toddler. Yeah, uh, I, I shot them and they didn't take damage. Who else is a tank? I am. I am. Okay, Alari, get out of there. Come back in. There's something going on with Alari's HUD. Ooh, whoa. 
No, I right, got a, a, a normal Tyler. I don't know. Are, are you mm. sure you're not using anything out of date, Alari? Was Alari in combat too? Yeah. They had yep. their health bar over their head. Anyway, uh, all right, reset and reheal everything, Sliffer and Val. Yep, I got all my MP back. Okay, Just, uh, stay right there, Val. Don't move. Sliffer's gonna go first. You, you need to be in combat for them to do it. I am in combat. You weren't when they when they that something. Uh, literally, it it swapped me out. It, like I wasn't in combat, and then my HUD switched, and then it w put me back in. I'm in combat. Y'all are something like y'all are gonna have brain aneurysms in a moment. Okay, something's going on. Nope, still didn't do damage to him. What the hell? Why Why yeah, was I, it working perfectly fine and now it's not? Well, I think it's a distance thing. I don't, I think it is actually, oh, actually, hold on. Let me, let me test something. Did you get any sort of error? Nope, but if I'm right, it should hit them now. Oh, hold on, I need to end my turn to get AP. Yeah, so it lets you target them at 15, but it looks like you're using a whisper, so if you're further than 10, it won't actually do anything. That's my theory <laughs> of how you're doing it, at least, Slash because once I got within... Sav. Once I got within 10 meters, I started being able to hit them. Okay, well, proceed as, for, uh, as planned, then, with the rest of your turn. Okay. Did they even do like they... Yeah, it still didn't do any damage, though. It just played the animation. Did it give you any um, reading, Val? That you uh, nope. It just said Slifer ends turn. I, what I'm wondering, and this is why I was asking this earlier, you said it's based off of a damage. Like, a, if this is anything similar to like a D and D system, I'm wondering if my armor was like whatever they roll the attack did for a roll. You would have gotten a result of zero. You would have gotten would have some up. some sort of message, and none of us saw it. Yeah. Okay, try again. In I'll fact... Just, I'm just going to stand here. Nope, there you go. Is afflicted by okay. Zap. So for fire... Five yeah, Slifer's fireball... Not send, Slifer's not sending uh, ability messages. No, I, I, got, I got it that time. It yeah, said... Zap, yeah, but you still damage. didn't send the message. It doesn't say you cast Zap. Yeah, Slifer's not sending messages for some reason. Where's Mana at? Mana, come here. Well, that that's what I noticed earlier, too. What do you need mana for? Are you gonna backstab mana again? What did mana come yeah. crying to you? Yeah, like there's another cast pants? and it's not cast it's not doing the thing again. Like it can didn't I play the animation some... either. On an off chance, can I try uh, just to make sure it's not just Slipper's HUD? Do you mind if I try the rogue ranged on uh Sam? <laughs> yeah, go for it's it. not the HUD um, don't. Yeah, I think someone else who's also got Mage Stone should come stand next to where I am and start trying to shoot Vel. Oh, Scarlet. Scarlet. Scarlet's got it. Okay, Let me go ahead and... Scarlet. Make sure you have the MP and the AP, and then cast Fireball on Vel. Oh, somebody changed my freaking API messages! Yep, did nothing. Huh. Someone uh, altered one of the the parameters of the stone. It, hang on, I'm gonna try something on my end to see if this lets me see. That helped. <laughs> Whatever Q, Q just did, that hurt. Yeah, Q stabbed them. It works. So you can stab people. It okay, works. so it looks like it's relegated to that stone. Well, no, because lightning didn't do any damage to him either. No, it lightning zapped. Here, I'm gonna stunning. I'm gonna test all of my abilities real quick on him. Q, you might want to move. Lightning. Okay, I have a... to. Ice works. Yep, yeah, ice works. And Q's stab worked. I'm gonna try Umbra. Use the AoE on... Yep, you're afflicted with Cursed. Um, and then we already know Zap works, so it looks like it's just Fireball. Okay. Please try using it. Uh, let me recover my MP. Well, it looks like the abilities and the sounds all look there good. There it is. So. His firebolt yeah. rolls 33. It worked. Look, his, his health dropped. 
No, that was mm. all the drop. Was it? Yeah, my my health was already at eighty one because of all the people them attacking. We do give him a heal. Do it. It works on NPCs, but it's not working on players. What the yeah. hell? It'll play the animation on them if I'm within ten meters. If I'm further than ten meters, it won't even do that. It also doesn't always play the animation. Sometimes it just does nothing. Man, you really did find a fun one. Are we noting all of these bugs that we found so we can start? No, I've been fixing them as people uh, mentioned them. Uh, Should we be noting them on the Trello so we don't forget them? Anything related to the database HUD, yes. But you've been fixing all of the combat HUDs that have popped up. So far, yeah. Well, not counting the time I wasn't here. Do you want me to hand you the fireball stone? Uh, ideally... The yeah, guy I right guess. Here. There's some sort of issue with it. Okay, that... So, here's a question. For, I guess, Zav, or whoever... The, the, the electric spell. Is it supposed to do damage, or is it just a stunning AoE? Uh, so the zapped one, if you use it on a player, is supposed to do damage to them if they move, so they'll should try moving around while they have yeah, that status effect. If you, if you move around, you'll start taking damage every time you move around. Vel, can you, like, take a step somewhere and see yeah, if you take a, damage? It's a dot. Yes, I, I took damage. Yep. Seems like something's wrong with just the fireball stone. So we're just finding ton tons of, like, little bugs, but I'm still pleased that this actually looks like a game. Like, people are recovering oh. MP, there's effects, there's sounds. Oh, oh there actually, it is. I see it. Hey, Vel, um, no one shoot them again really quick. Um, can you end your turn to see if Umbra does damage to you? Well, it just puts curse. Oh, it says that if you use it on a player, it's supposed to put a dot effect on them instead. No, it still inflicted me with curse. Curse is the dot effect. Yeah, uh, well, and it looks well, like it didn't it do any damage. It just does the same thing as Zap, I believe, it, if you move I'm, around. It, it won't until you end turn. Like, dots don't actually deal damage over time. They deal damage on turn. Okay. Yeah, that's well, what I'm saying. They ended turn and they still didn't take any damage from it. Here's what I was thinking. Is because, and this is, this is what I was noticing, you've used, everybody's used so many things on top of me that it got overridden. Because I'm not, I, that, I've seen several different effects all go after that, or after the one time you use Curse. Or I got inflicted by it. There is a hard There's limit to the number of effects you can have on you at one time. I think, I think it's, it's two. two. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yes. Oh, dang, that, that was it, easy. It, yeah, it just, I because I had so many on me, I didn't have the effects still on me. That was too much okay, damage. Okay, <laughs> I think that got it, and... Wait, San is afflicted with one for three turns, what? That's just a typo. Okay, um, can one of you please firebolt me? So Who is I me? What I just saw, yeah. Melna, implied that right a pair it. of rogues could wreak utter havoc. Well, the backstab, the backstab Ooh, is so taxing on your MP and, and AP that if you don't have a uh, potion, like an MP potion with you, like you can really only use backstab like once per turn. It's it's very expensive to use it. Once per combat, not once, once per, per turn. Once per combat, sorry. Right. Okay. Bug is fixed. No, I mean like. I'm guessing the... that's a HUD update because it still doesn't work on Val. Yeah. He oh yeah, HUD it's update. a HUD update. Okay. Do you want me to still oh. hand you the fire stone and see if there's anything wrong in there? No, there's nothing wrong with it. Though the the someone changed an API. I'm, I'm guessing when uh, Song rewrote the ability stone, he didn't save the API message properly. So I can either change the API or I can make you guys fix every single stone. I'm opting for the API. Why not both? Okay. Actually, you guys have to anyway. I just updated the the uh, stones. Okay, never mind. Right. Hand me that new HUD, and I will permit and give it out to everybody, and we can continue with this test. Uh, okay. Give me a second. Remember to put the uh, self-destruct in there, please. I know. Uh, Lena, uh, why did you have to say that? Because it's fucking funny. 
This HUD will self destruct. One. Uh, yeah, actually. What did you get that message or something? That should not be possible. What's not possible? It hasn't hit that time. I was being a smart ass. Don't worry about it. It will self destruct it tomorrow. Yeah. It is programmed to self destruct itself with a fart sound tomorrow. Let me just perm this real fast, guys, and I'm going to hand you all a new combat HUD, so just stand by. That's fine. I, was I appreciate to... you guys taking the time to test with We want to get these bugs worked out before release. But how do you guys feel about it so far? Like, I, I think this is actually looking like a, a game. So far, so good. This is from, nice. from what I've seen, I like it so far. I just want to see what I, I fully see I'm... what PvP looks like. And yeah, we're going to test that right in a minute as soon as I fix Perman this. I am looking for, honestly looking forward to seeing what you do with Samurai. Vincent's already working on the Samurai moves over there. Samurai is basically... I'll just let it, Selly answer that. Selly can describe what Samurai is. Before you do, did you say Samurai moves or Samurai moves? And I'm like, we're making Samurai cows now. They're, they're going to have a moose and some moves. Wow. I mean... Oh Look, WoW already did Paladin moves, so... Sorry to TV. <laughs> I just find it funny. The Samurai Moosekin would be interesting. Samurai is death. That, that is what they do. He just wants more move. That's what this is. Sully, yep. can you tell them uh, about Samurai, the class? Like, what it will do? I literally just did before you said something. That doesn't describe <laughs> anything. It is. It, it's death. It deals high damage to a single target. That is all it does. It's like you just pull. It's like you have. Well, all I think these it's, characters. I, it has the same stats as another class. It just has its own independent like samurai moves. Yeah, I was about to say, what's the difference between it and rogue, which is also a high damage single target class? I assume rogue is burst. Samurai is consistent over a battle. Like there you go. Rogue you bring in to backstab the mages and then get the fuck out because you can't really do much else for the rest of the turn except flail on them with your daggers. When it comes to balancing, the classes are... There's really technically only five classes stats-wise. It's just their abilities that separate them from one another. Like, the ninja is basically going to be the same thing as the rogue. It just has ninja abilities. When do I get my chronomancy back? Uh, we have time spells. Uh, there's going to be things like haste and whatnot. Just takes time. But um, bump. But no, we're gonna. We just want to get these bugs fixed before we launch the thing. And what we'll probably do is, since there's so many damn abilities, is we're gonna like. Re I, I think we're gonna shoot to release like the first 100, uh, 120 for 1.0. And then uh, Vincent and I are going to take a break and then slowly release the rest just whenever they get done. So, like, it would, you, you will, you'll have to come back to the ability vendors and just check them, like, once a week. Because we'll might have, we'll put an announcement out, obviously. But, like, every other week there'll probably be a new ability stone that comes out. Ability of the week. And we'll have to, we'll be able to purchase them, right? Like, it won't be, like, yeah, just... Yeah, so there's three, so there's three types of XP currencies that you get from attending events. There's JP, that's job points, those level up your jobs. There's CP, those are class points, and they level up your class. And then the third type is SP, and those are called skill points, and you spend those as a currency at the, at the ability stone vendors. Uh, and they will trade you SP for ability stones. And the higher the tier of ability stone the more it costs and you'll you'll notice that all of the ability stones say minor on them uh it's like, all the rank ones yeah those all of the rank ones are considered minors and it goes up to tier five so there's five tiers of every type of ability there are a lot more from me as i make them so consider so considering that minor backstab does so much freaking damage I'm yeah that, that's probably gonna get rebalanced <laughs> slipper is already screaming well, about it not every ability will do more damage to higher tiers. They'll also have additional effects, like backstab will instead probably get a bleed at higher tiers. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't some, yell some about backstab just, yet. Some of them won't just be blatantly get stronger, like Sally said. <laughs> yet. Yet, because nobody's well, backstabbed you. I mean, I watched someone get backstabbed. No, I'm busy 
I'm busy complaining at you about enchanting. Give me give me time to I can only do one thing at a time. Hold on, Sliver, go into combat real quick. We'll uh, while we're sitting, wh while I'm perming this, Sally, can you give everybody like a couple of relics? Because I want to, I want to show that off before we. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I was just starting to work that. Also, bear in mind that uh, armor actually plays a very big factor. So even just generic light armor can reduce that damage significantly if you get a good roll. Or at least it would. If I'm in right light armor. I'm yeah. sorry, Sliver. I couldn't help it. You also get a 15% chance to dodge everything in light armor, so it's entirely possible they backstab you and just fucking miss. No, you're fine, T. You, you're just telling me that I do, in fact, need to complain about backstab. Back backstab you is pretty potent. Both new. Imagine missing backstab. To be fair, backstab. though, like backstab is more geared. Uh, all of the stuff in the game is geared for PVE. PvP is like never going to be something that's just balanced. It's and and it's when not... it is, it's something that is team based. Like you need to go into PvP with a party because a priest is never just going to be able to like fight. Like it's not a fighting class; it's a support class. So the the classes are set up to um, be in a team with one another and support one another in a battle. And PvP works the same way. You do still want to avoid one turn kills like that, though. Oh, absolutely, but I mean, yeah, I, I didn't I mean, one turn the, kill the him fact, though. The fact, no, the fact that I wa that I would be able to literally walk up to Sliffer as a rogue, hit backstab if they're in com combat, and drop them instantly. With Sounds like a rogue thing. From full to zero. They're a sorcerer. Sounds like a rogue thing. Police. It does sound like a rogue thing to me, but you we'll, probably, we'll probably nerf it a little bit. You backstab the level one wizard. What do you want? What you're yeah. saying is I, I need mean, to buff. I mean, but they're also level one. What you're saying is I need to buff Fireball by five times. No, but what, what if, you're saying what is, you is that somebody rogue. failed to failed to put on barrier on their backline mages. That exactly. Thank you. I don't know if barrier like, would be enough actually, since it's only twenty five percent. Well, here's the other I mean, thing. As as you as you the mage out. levels up, its stats and its uh, and AP pools will grow, which means eventually they'll have enough AP to put on heavy armor and still be you... viable in combat. Yeah, and then again, what if you just miss backstab? You look like a fucking clown. Do we have another? Do we have somebody else playing priest? By the way. You do. We have window, window. On. Okay. I okay. lied. Barrier protected me. Barrier Everybody. did save him. Yeah. Like, I think everybody's just overthinking it. We'll we'll get it sorted out. I'm sure we'll have enough time to balance. We care more about these bugs and the balance things at this moment. Okay, I need <laughs> oh, people. Uh... Even after you do that, you take five damage at the end of my turn for the next three turns. Yeah. Backstab does apparently have a dot. And it I'm works. Hand yes, it does. It bleeds, I believe. Uh, I'm handing everybody the new combat HUD. Uh, put that on, and also what uh, Selly's about to hand you. Well, don't put it on, but Selly's about to hand you some relics. Did I miss anybody? Well, uh, I didn't get the new one. Also, are we going to need to re-equip all of our stones? Yes. You'll need to re-equip everything. Did anybody not get the combat HUD 9.9.1? Uh, I did not. Nine! 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 One. I think Brett's dead. And just in case anyone else was curious, yes, you can only have one effect on you at a time, be that barrier or uh, zap. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. Wait, is that right? It may be only one positive, one po negative. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've messed with I'm back. Stop.
staff cave. How the hell did you get? I'm back. I'm sorry. Who just? Put... I don't know what you're talking about. Dear. Do I look like a buck? I mean, not right now, but. Yeah, I'd say fifty cents last to... night. Uh, about a buck fifty. Yeah. Raven, I mean about tree fifty. Put on the new combat. Tree fifty. Handed. That's what I'm doing now. I'm putting my new weapons on. Did anybody? Did anybody get a relic from Sally? I did. If you have I got a one. relic and you were a scholar, come over here and res them in front of the scholars, and the scholars will identify them for you. For a nominal fee of we don't care. Yeah, give me three thousand zil, please, Vel, for this. Mm, nobody. I'm standing in. So res it out on the ground, correct, Mana? I can't equip my wand anymore. Yeah, you have to. You have to res it out in front of the person. Don't give it to me. I mean, you can give it to me, but I have a glitch. There, I have appraised your sword. You have a junk treasure sword. If for yeah. some reason you can't equip oh, your gear by clicking take off all, it'll reset you to defaults and the system should reboot. No, it's giving me a wrong class. So this oh. You have to uh, change your class again after equipping the new HUD. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, I didn't need to. When, if you have attached a new HUD, it it, it did not get the new data from the data HUD. Take off the data HUD, put it back on. It'll reset everything. Okay. And if that doesn't work, go back. Make over sure you're the out of combat. Cube. Yes, make sure you're out of combat. And if that does still does not work, go out of combat and run all the way over to the class cubes again. So um. And go get your class. I just okay, enchanted works. this staff. Um, one, it took zero energy to use. Uh, two. My magical power stat went down by four. Yep, like I said, relics need work. No, 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 Sally, <laughs> Sally. It went down by four. Yes, like I said, relics need work. Uh, Not all okay. of them are positive. Well, yeah, I was about to say. I thought, I thought that that's what he was. That's what that's that should be intended because I, it's I like. Think, I think that last part is intended, but they still do need work. Wait 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 wait, 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 well, you will get 20 EP per day by default, and there will be other ways to restore EP that don't involve waiting. Yes. It's not going to be like ROE where you have to wait the day. You Waiting the day is free. If you visit an inn or visit a cook who prepares you food or buy the food, it will restore EP. And I think that instead of waiting 12 hours for you to get it, I think what we're going to do is have it gradually restore throughout the day, so like every few hours you get a point. Probably be less stressed for the same effect to just have it do once a check it once every 12. Okay, I appraised your weapons, guys. You can pick them up. I need to res out one. I'm not very good at appraising. Looks like I just got I made a bunch of dusty staves and rusty spears. And yeah, I, I think I put this in the note. Maybe I didn't, but uh, relics will give you a texture error when you equip them. It, it won't affect anything. There's like like I said, they it's a known work. bug. They were never updated after the. Oh, year. that's I'm weird. Using your sword. So is appraising, so appraising is supposed to consume EP, but just currently does not, right, Sally? Yeah, it can, it's just not configured. Somebody okay. got a big dick sword, hello? Oh, yeah, but that's, that's I, just, I just rolled an epic <laughs> artifact sword for Vel. Wait, okay, so here's a question, hold on, real quick. Okay, so I got the artifact sword. I, I, so here's my question, do you need to pick it up and then put it back down to, put, to equip it? 
Yes. No, you can just click it once it's been appraised. Yeah, you can just you, click it. How do you get the items you got from the fighting the guys? Uh, you don't. Those were broken. Okay. Yeah, so that's what that's we why have to manually that's what... hand the relics out to people, which is what we're yeah. doing right now. Okay, I got three, three other things. Oh, hey, hey, price so, This is what, that's what I, so if I have it equipped, it, it should, should, like, even though I, do, I get the texture error, and it's not showing the icon that I have a sword attached on the HUD, it's there, it, it, it will It will work, it's just not fully set up yet. So you can double it. check, you can yeah. double check, you can double check by clicking the gear stats button and looking at your primary weapon stats. That's what I was, that's okay, so that's what I was, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I rezzed out that, the, the epic artifact sword that he got, right? I click it, click equip to equip one. I got the, I got the, the script error. And then when I go to look at it, okay, there, it does say it now. Silly, that's an interesting point. When we roll to make these random weapons, how is it going to get it, the icon to know what it is? Is there a way to make sure that it can get that? What? Well, like, you know, if you have a appraised weapon like this, it doesn't know what, you know, inventory icon to slap on top of the HUD when you equip it. How are we going to get it, around it, that? It does, because those are just modified weapon templates. That's why it's a, it's a different relic weapon. Oh, okay, weapon I got type. you. Okay. It'll just it's show just a generic the... sword or whatever. Yeah, it's just the, the texture code is not in there yet. Gotcha. Because they don't pull from the experience, so we got to wait for Song to update them. Wait. Oh, wow. Hold up. I just ran into an issue. The uh, the texture keys aren't saved on the experience key. Yeah, when you looked at them, though, you told me you didn't want to touch it until Song did his updating because it wasn't communicating with the data server at all. There's no reason to put the textures through the through the key. Define fun bug. I think I need to go reset my class. I had to reset. If your mine. class is not showing up, take off your data HUD, put it back on, make sure you're not in combat. No. No, it's not that. It's I. I went to like when you gave me the new HUD. I went to go try to equip my shield, and it wouldn't have let me equip it. It said it was the wrong class. So that's because you did not take off the data HUD and put it back on. I did. I took off all. I had everything off. Put it back on, and it said it was the wrong class. Uh, in that case, go to options on the data HUD, uh, setup, and load class. Okay. Oh. And then so, click your gear stats up. on the combat HUD just to confirm that it is actually correct. I have somehow ended up at 5 health. You're a dirty backstabbing rogue. Here, you can use Did my you punch camp in the head. Stand near my campsite. Hey, uh, Sally, just so you're aware, the. The uh, Sully, ability stone bug that I just fixed. So you're so mean to me. I only backstab one person. It's the same one from the uh, NPC. <laughs> What's the same one from the NPC? The bug that I fixed in the combat hut. That was did the I... same damn thing. Oh yeah, I fi yeah, because you did work on both at the same time, I think. Did so, Sully, what yeah. what is minor sharpen stone? I don't re recognize this. That's just Berserk, but, you know, Knight already had barriers, so I just renamed Berserk to Sharpen, because that sounded more appropriate for a rogue. Okay. I think it still says Berserk, because I was too lazy to go in and change the actual effect name, because we're going to make them an yeah. actual stone later. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I should see if I can nuke people now. Hello, people. What did I miss? Hey, fellas. I mean... Oh, there's no, like, majority. There's a cluster of 15 folk right here. Just throw out an AoE. Embrace the chaos. Well, none of them are in combat. Well, I, yeah, and I know ice spikes works. I need to see if fireball works. Here. Uh, Zav? Is up. Well, no, we wanted to make sure Val works. Yeah, well, it just needs to be a tank. Yeah. Just shoot. It doesn't matter what class they are. Just going to probably one-shot me. 
Oh no, I dodged it. <laughs> <laughs> but we now know that it 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 works. Yeah, I was mostly trying to see how much uh, damage it did. Twenty six. How much da uh, HP does a tank have? A lot. Uh, 100, I believe. And a tank slap me with, like, a basic attack, please. Well. What the hell was that? Oh, that was Why only... Why That was only 8 damage. That's actually not bad. Okay. That, well, that was on a... That was on a defense break as well, so you took the maximum possible damage from that attack. Okay. Time to uh, poison Harden. Harden move, though. It was weird. How so... much does an ability from a tank do? I don't know. I, I didn't even intend for them to have a single target ability, and then I was thrown one at the last minute. Dodge. Well, I dodged that, so... Oh, shoot, that's not good. Um, if you dodge an attack, or, like, basically, when he did that because it pushed me, I lost AP. Yep. Well, in yeah, that scenario, nobody's going to be bumping into you. Well, that's also well, No, just that's what I'm the... saying. It's the ability effect. It should probably be phantom, so it doesn't do yeah, that. It's, oh, yeah, they're supposed to be phantom. They just weren't made phantom on a couple of them yet. They are yeah, going that, to be phantom, be fixed. Though. Okay. Also, Melna, uh, Alexis... Damage. Alexis needs the HUDs. They are they don't want to come on voice though. And that's fine. Them. Oh, so Alexis so. is an hour and a half late. Yeah, that's like well, I think we're kind of wrapping up at this point, aren't we? I, I mean, y'all we are y'all are free to muck around as much as you want. Yeah, I, I thought we were I, doing I, PvP. I'll, I'll, I'll take yeah. I wanted to do that real quick. Uh, I will take care of Alexis. So if somebody could let Alexis know, I'll give it to them. But uh, I wanted to, if, if we could all gather around here, and I need that tank and sliffer over here. Uh, so, Raven, why don't you come over here? Q, did that do any damage to you? Yeah, it tickles, though. Yeah, so that one's probably far too weak to really matter, but... It's worth noting that the majority of uh, AoE spells are going to be weaker attacks than single target. Yeah. Oh no, that was um, zap. Jeez. Everybody. Uh, uh, that only damages if someone moves. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He like ran his entire AP bar, and it did effectively nothing to his HP. Yeah, I think it was turned down too much, personally, but whatever. It definitely was. Like, there's I no mean... deterrent to running after me in that case. So it's, it is never a good idea to use that move. I will always do more damage using a different move. Come over to the battle arena, guys. Uh, I want to do a, a couple of PvP tests. So if uh, end combat and come over here, I'm gonna need That's Sliffer. I'm gonna need Sliffer and Rylena specifically too to come down and do the fight. Um, and then we're gonna do a boss battle after this. Um, if you could do me a favor, um, Sally, and just move Fred up a bit and get him out of the way. Oh, wow. Sim is experiencing res delay. This is severe res delay. I can't see shit. Probably all the people piling into the sim. That's the Emmy day. I need to go to bed anyways. I gotta get up early. Have a good night, Kala. Yeah. Did you like the system? Ooh, I enjoyed it. And I can't wait to heal all the people. Priests uh, do need some attacks, oh though. Look at the fucking stack of T-Rexes over there. Um, can someone heal me, please? Oh my god, Sally! Ah, look at this! They're 38 prims apiece! <laughs> fucking no wonder I can't see shit. Yeah, sorry, I'm Sally, late, pick though. up that... F <laughs> uh, people were supposed to be fighting them so that they didn't pile up. Okay, well, I will delete just a few of them. Delete all of them? Yeah. So Send I gotta... them to the Shadow Realm! I need I I gotta... them to the Shadow Realm! I can't... I can't... I'm actually gonna relog because I cannot see shit. It's like the arena doesn't exist for me. Boy, this would be a great time to accidentally delete the floor for the Go third time this fun. week. You got a you got a record for doing that, Sully. Okay, I deleted some T-Rexes. Anyway, um so I need Sliffer and Rylena in the ring. 
and Valen's oh, okay, in the yeah. for whatever reason. Well, you yeah, can I'm, making sure my, I'm making sure my barrier stone is properly equipped. I, I need to re-equip all of my stones. By the way, I misspoke earlier when I said megabyte. I meant that uh, the data took two kilobytes. Is there is there a soul stone, by the way, by any chance? No, there's not a soul stone. Sad. But yeah, sorry I'm late. Though. Oh yeah, none of us have potions anymore. What's your hit, Lars? Potions. It's gonna suck to be you. Maybe I you should have thought like... about that before using them. Mine was still in my old HUD, so... Yeah, mine was in my old HUD, and it, it like when we got the new one, it used it up. Well, maybe like, you should have thought about that before you just wasted them <laughs> on an old HUD. That's unfortunate. The, the plan was that you'd get materials from the little monsters and nodes, and you could turn nodes into us to craft the potions, but... Everything got sidelined. We can still do oh, that. So, seriously, for have an apology stone. <laughs> but, um... Get over there, there Rylena. Well? I'm in the place. You're on top of Slipper. Go over to the other side of the arena. Oh, the other side. I'm guessing not. Then. Okay, so you said go down there. there. You didn't say what to do. Okay, what did you want me to do with Fred? Where did Fred go? I, I moved him up, and I just uh, I, I was I already took care of it. Fred got flat. I see him up there. Am I tanking the boss? No, you're fighting Sliffer in a one-on-one -on -one oh. duel to the death. Uh, yeah, have okay. Can, well, Slipher can has someone like please? Five. I have Slipher six hit like points. Cool, I win. You have what? Sliffer has I have no six life. HP. Exit combat, please. Combat exited. Behold, developer magic. <laughs> Convenient. Thank you. Okay. We're 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 doing this one thing at a time. We, we will get to some other topics in this test, but I want to see a one-on-one -on -one duel bef between a knight and a mage. Why is it? Why All is right. it going in there? What is, 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 is Alexis going to be the referee or something? Uh, okay, so um, I'm predicting that the knight will kick the mage's ass, but we'll see. So initiate combat, Rylena. Do you want me? Okay. And uh, are Slipher we going to roll for initiative? Yeah, go for it. Rip. Jesus. Well, it looks, okay. like, it looks like Slifer's wins. F what a win this. Slifer, you get to go first. Now, your objective is to use all of your AP on your turn, and then you will end turn, and then it'll be the next person's turn. This is how combat will be conducted. So, Slifer, whenever you are ready. Yeah, I'm just, um... Hmm. Sally, that thing doesn't work, actually. It should. What do you mean doesn't work? It doesn't even pop up the menu. When I click the, the lightning element thing. Eh, hang on a second. <laughs> These fucking poses on this chair is ridiculous. I'm just gonna say it. Rylena looks sad. Okay, that's better. I'm about to get blown up, of course I'm sad. <laughs> You're about to become fried Neffling. Something something chicken wing joke? Oh. It, wouldn't fried Neffling be a chicken wing joke? Well, I actually do think this should be in Rylena's favor because there's also nowhere for me to, like, maneuver to. Fair enough, you're in close quarters combat. Yeah, and I should have the disadvantage in that. Please remember, if you're using a melee weapon and you don't get into melee range, you ain't doing shit with it. Why do you think I'm using a polearm? I mean, you can run. You can step out of the arena if you need to, Sliver. Just, if you need to run oh. like hell, do it. But what this is going to simulate is the AP that you're going to have to use to, to get out away from a, a knight. 
but but Raven is going to have to run all that distance to close the gap, which means they're probably not going to have enough AP once they get up to you to do much. So you could be able, you might be able to kite them. But if you need to exit the arena, I don't mind. You run wherever you want. But are are you ready? I have changed my null value to two. That that stone is still broken, Sully. Shouldn't be. It's not any different from the one in, that came in the box. What the hell is going on? Yeah, my abilities just don't work with it. And actually, hold on. Yeah, anything that I try to slot into that slot does not work. Because you're in combat. Yeah, you still have combat mode on. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, you can't change your ability stones while you're in combat. It's supposed to give you an error message. It does. Uh, it says you set your null value to whatever slot you try to put it in. What? Yeah. <laughs> Zav is just like, what? Well, I mean, it looks like it didn't do the thing. Let me try reattaching it. Looks like you gotta work with something again, Zav. And, and Mochi, I will take care of you after we're done here. Okay, I'm gonna go get food. All right. Now. You always have food. Yeah, well, it I does. Don't. If you try to do that, it will kill whatever ability slot you're using entirely. That... That's weird. But hey, you deserve to try and change abilities in combat, you monster. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Why did it now move... Oh god, I have to reslot all my abilities, one second. It was a good day when the developer goes, What? That's pretty much every day Zav cracks into this system. What? <laughs> yeah, I didn't write the original thing. I've just been patching it. Yikes. But yeah. I At this point, it's more patched okay. than the original. I think now everything is slotted. Let's find out. Go blow up a... Go blow up a... Don't network. forget your equipment. You're gonna need that. Oh, yeah. One second. Leave combat first. But yeah, Melina, I would have came earlier, but I have a sponsorship, so I was obligated to stream. It's okay. We we forgive you, Mochi. Somebody would sponsor me to stream. Well, you... Rylena, you could get a sponsorship if you stream more. <laughs> you There's no way to get there from there. How did you do that? Tui, what in the ass are you doing? If you're in combat and you try and slot a stone, it... You can't get to that function. How did you do that? I don't know. I just equipped the stone, and it's like, where do you want to put the stone in? I clicked, oh, I want to put it in this slot, and then it's like, you have set your null value to this thing, and then that ability slot just doesn't work. Sliffer is our main bug tester now. They face planted into a bug. All right, I don't know if I have my weapon equipped or not. I think I do, but it doesn't have an icon, so I can't see. You can click the gear stats button, and it should tell you if it, what you've got equipped. So can we all look? My primary you weapon is now times. an unarmed punch. So it unequipped my weapon. Let me re-equip that. For the love okay. of God, Sliffer. It's taking you nine million years to get equipped, and you just keep breaking everything. I think they're making things up to stall for time because they don't want to get nope. dead. You literally told me to check my gear. I was about to start shooting. I'm going to exit the call. Well, I knew that you weren't going to last right, two I'm seconds on. without it. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, no no range on that. Stuff. Lafar is breaking uh, things. Now what the pro what's the problem, Sliffer? What did you do now? I can't shoot these abilities that far, apparently. Mages, I guess, have no range. Why? <laughs> well, each ability stone has its own range set in it. That's a balance issue. Well, they seem no, to be I shooting mean, like, for less range than is in the stone. I think it's yeah. What like said. even go ahead. Ravens don't even fireball. Ravens not showing up at this distance. I straight up cannot attack them from here. I have oh, to get like take within melee it. range. I think it's because what Sliffer said earlier, where it's because they're sending a whisper out. It's not. Yeah, this is. I don't even have them selectable in my targeting thing. 
Anyway, just move closer so we can get this on over with while Zav is looking at it. Stand in the squares. Move forward, Raven. Spell range is listed as 15 meters. Raven. Yeah, Raven is not a selectable target for any of my spells. Raven is well within 15 meters of them. Yeah, it, it is Raven specifically is not a valid target. Uh, uh, looking through to make sure that it's not... You sure it's not showing up as Rylena? It won't. It, yeah, hold on, let me get right next to him. Spell range pi, spell range pi, spell range pi. It, there's no reason it shouldn't work. Yeah, no. Oh, there's Raven. So I have to be, like, this close to shoot Raven in particular for some reason. Because everyone else is still in my targeting reticule. I Hold can on. still shoot everyone else. You do know you do know you can flip pages. There are multiple pages for targets, yes. right? Okay. Yes, and Raven was not in any of them. But everybody else was. Everyone oh, else that's was why. Is. That's up? why. There's a, there's a maximum number of people you can get in a single scan. It, uh, that top number is 16. After that, it goes to objects because it w the whole thing was prioritizing PvE, not PvP. Mm. Uh, so if you've got more than 16 people around you, that 17th person's never showing up. Until okay, everybody, uh, how about everybody get down off of the stadium and just, and then alt cam up here. As long as, uh, as long as Rylina is closer to you than at least one of those 16. Yeah, that's show up why it worked it. when they moved closer, but let's just move everybody off the stadium. We'll just have them all come up here. That should be more than enough people removed. Okay, there all right. Now. now now everybody came up here. Now let's try this for the love of God. Oh, God, what's the problem the now? Oh, this one actually is just lack of range on my abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the the zap and the umbra both just straight up can't be shot ranged. Well, they're those are AOEs. Well, they can be shot no, fifteen. Not. Oh, uh, the the limit of AOEs is you have to actually be within the range of the AOE plus. Uh, it doesn't fucking matter at this point. Zap's not an AOE; it's a single target. Hmm? I mean, said it was. Yeah, they're Try all fireball. Try fireball. Just do something to open up the combat. Like, like, like I keep saying, abilities are 15 meters. Song said do not put them over 15 meters or they will do fucky things. Well, mm, that makes no sense, but okay. I made it. Ah. Hi. Yeah, too late. I, I figured. That is 14 meters. So yeah, you should be within range. Alright, well, I'm just going to use Fireball, and we'll just see how things go. Just know that I am slightly gimped. I mean, you can you can skip your turn and let them come to you. Raven, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, okay, the effects aren't to... showing up, but it's still working? Oh, he did a re... That's why he said don't... Okay. Ow. Alright, are you done, Sliver? That's gonna need to No, yeah. don't exit combat. Yeah, I accidentally hit exit combat. I won't go until you end your turn. Okay, it's I'm your back turn, in combat. Slipper just took out half my health. <laughs> You're a you can take made it. of tofu. Did you put you put your armor and weapons on, right? Yes. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> well, they are armor, and that is magic. Bowie? Okay. Raven's ended turn. Slipper's turn. Oh god, zapped. Pro tip, when facing a sorcerer, you may want elemental armor. <laughs> you didn't make that. Oh, you sneaky lose. shit! I'm gonna lose this fight. Yes, you are! <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> you fucking serious. Raven's turn. Because now you have to eat the zap damage. Yeah, every time you move. Hey, don't jump. <laughs> Do not jump. I'm telling you, jump takes up way more AP. You could probably hit them from there, though. Uh -huh. You have a full arm. arm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what 
Wait, did you even hurt them? She dodged. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Boink. Oh, and that will have eaten up some AP too because it knocked you into the air. Oof. Yeah, we have to. That's that's a good reason why we need to not make those fan. Or we need to make sure the effects are phantom. Mm -hmm. We thought it was cool in development, like that it it bumped you around a little bit, and I was worried that that was going to happen. Oh, did they uh, dodge the last fireball? Yep. I think at this point she's just being nice and giving Rayleigh a chance. <laughs> no, actually, I'm low on MP. Ra Raven is. Oh, you're fucked then. Raven is this both cursed exactly and more. zapped, but has barrier. Raven retaliates. This this could go very badly for Slipper if I have have, they don't get left. MP. You better get that potion out! Oh, no, you're dead. Potion? That, it, it was in my old HUD, I told you that. So, for context, I have 2 MP right now. I would not have been to able to attack further without eating turns for Energize. See, get or you can buff yourself with Energize at the start and get some MP back each turn. That is true, but that still would have been a turn that I didn't do damages. At yeah, point, and then Raven right. would well, still be alive. Hold on, not a I... tier one anyway. You get more AP and MP as you level, so you'll get more uses out of those things at higher ranks. Uh, somebody, come oh, I'm in. not complaining. Come I'm in. just uh, hold on. Come in and resurrect, uh, Rylena, please. And I want to try that to fight. It's like right there. Well, whatever you want to do. Uh, I want to try that again, but I want Rylena to go first, because I feel like if they got that barrier off first, sure. that um, could have completely reset. changed the combat. Well, except barrier is physical damage, not magical. Do you yeah, have, have any magic uh, mitigation? No, that I know of. Uh, Paladins there's, do. There's a ward, but Raven doesn't have access to that. Yeah, someone will need to resurrect them. I cannot. Kala is dead. Who wants to fight next? There are also several other uh, buff and debuff effects that are not in the current test that you can use later to make these things even more complex. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's... if she had any sort of magic mitigation, that probably would have been me losing as well. Concern Assuming comes... they had damage. Well, no, again, okay, yeah. I guess a slight concern would be that if a sorcerer zapped somebody, due to the effect limit, they could just cast a buff on themselves and remove No, it. actually, it is one buff and one debuff. No. So unless someone casts another debuff on themselves to get rid of... Uh, or a cleanse, which I like didn't include in the... Or a cleanse, which I did not include in the test. They'd have to take a, or they'd have to deal a little less damage, but they wouldn't take the huge bite out of them that Zap can. I'll be back. Well, this is also a version of Zap that Sully tweaked a bit so that it did something. Because uh, the last well, one did like one a HP per AP spent. It was supposed to be real, well, yeah. I've been looking at the way that. Uh, It's not how I thought he did it. Uh, abilities may have a hard limit of nine meters. Oh. Uh -oh. Wait, is that right? What's the? Wait, really? What's the? Hang on. That'd be kind of gross for ranged characters. So it's not attacks. Attacks are nineteen point nine. Oh, oh, oh. Also, can I have the heal button real quick? You have to admit, though, uh, I put it? that was way more exciting than the Light Hood. <laughs> that was like an I actual mean... little RPG battle. There was tactics, there was strategy. I like it. It needs to be balanced a little bit more, and you know, At like we need to give. At first blush, I'm sure it's not perfect, but that didn't seem too immediately off to me. Because yeah. part of it was also that I dodged one of Rylena's attacks. So realistically, you're looking at about half HP there, and. Well, keep I in mind, too, first. like, there would be a situation where, like, if this were an actual battle, like, Rylena might have a mage in their party that could have put mag uh, uh, magic barrier on them. Yeah, or exactly. That's what I was getting at. Or, um, they even had, or they might have had a friend wait 
hanging around. Well, or, even... or even better yet, they could have been wearing fucking, like, lightning armor or fire armor and just completely ate your fucking attack. Well, literally, even... it'll heal them. Even not counting all of that, both everybody only here has a fraction of the abilities they'll have available at launch. That too. I mean, there's so many different abilities that will be at at Raven's disposable uh, disposal on actual launch. Like, well, and same for Slifar. Same, yeah, same for Slifar. So you're, you mean we're we're only testing a very tiny fraction of the the game here, and that still felt good to me. What do you guys think? Yes, no, maybe? Somebody? I mean, I, I just want to test out fighting myself so I can okay, see. Okay, well, go ahead. Roll. Alright. Are you both healed? Yeah, I'm full. I am at 100%. Enter combat? I don't know. Okay. Raven, what did you think? I know you died, but... Raven's still in the burn ward. Reroll. roll Keep in mind that you can mulligan if you if you don't want to go first. See, this is where the the player turns come into effect. Well, we both rolled sixteen. Then roll again, or whoever. I think. Yeah, it'll have a ten meter hard limit because it's the res limit. A uh, script can only res an object up to 10 meters away from itself, which is why the effects weren't showing up. Okay, Val, just go later. first, I guess, since you're not rolling again. Really? That's <laughs> hilarious. I'm, I'm declaring that Val gets to go first. Okay. Wait, that was three 13s in a row? <laughs> they, they both rolled 16. And then they both rolled uh, 13. And then Sleepar rolled 13 again. What the hell did he base that roll system off of? End your turn when you're ready. Please stop rolling. Okay, it's Sliffer's turn. Slipper's like a fucking chess wizard. They have to, like, think about their move for... Ooh. And Vel is zapped. And there goes Slipper running away. Okay, it's uh, Vel's turn. But yeah, this is how combat will basically function in PvP. As you can see, it's a lot less spammy. I have a feeling that ranged attacks will always beat melee. Well, I think that you, <laughs> were, away when we were, I th you were away when we were talking about it, and I wanted to get your opinion, but... You're you're severely gimped, too, because you only have a fraction of the abilities that you would have in launch. There are effects that are in the current test that are intended for melee characters to deal with ranged characters. Yeah. I believe we're even going to put it so, like, you could put a, a ranged melee in your offhand. Yeah. Hey, Sully, I'd have to see what actual numbers you put in, but at, like, first blush, this iteration of Zapped actually feels pretty decent. I don't think it's doing enough it's, damage, actually. It's your turn, the, Phil. The dot might not be... Um, maybe, like, offload some of the upfront damage onto the dot effect. Oh. Val, Hang on, did I, did I? Yeah, Val, it's your turn. Okay. I may I... have... Ugh, yeah, that AP loss is going to hurt. I think the 
that's what he's going for, actually. Oh, I'm a dumb dumb. So the upfront damage you're doing was meant to be the dot damage. I just put it in the wrong spot. Please remember, jumping is incredibly expensive. Yeah, you probably would have been better off taking the stairs. It's Fel's turn now. Uh, it actually would have been more total distance. Trigonometry. But yeah, uh, Rylena, I mean, there's a situation where you could, if you, you, you might have had a person in your I party. I mean, that probably that, would have been better was walking off. You might have been, uh, you, you could have had a party uh, member that put um, magic ward on you to reduce uh, Slipher's damage. You could have had a... Uh, you could have a fire, like, a fire or a lightning enchanted um, armor on that would have just, like, healed you when Slipher puts fireball on you. So there's a lot of options. But, I, I mean, I think in the limited capacity that we're testing here, that felt pretty good for a little game. It's a lot better than the, the Light Hut. What do you think? Yeah, so that, that even going first, that amount of damage, that, that, that never mind. Yeah, the fact no, that ahead. the mage can just drop you to 50% HP in the first round before you can even get a chance to get up to them. Yeah. Well, what I about really if you went bounce. first, though? I was going to get to them. No, that's the thing. That's the thing is, and that that was the thing. That was the part that I was noticing when I watched when I watched Arlena do it, and then when I did it as a tank, or just me, I have heavy armor on. I got hit, and it. Tanked my health immediately. Well, I already know. Gap, I already know. Gap destroys your AP, and by the time you get to exactly. them, you have no AP left to attack, and then they just blast you and run away. Well, well yeah, that's, that, that is, that is definitely intended, but we want to put in options to mitigate that. Like the first thing I would put in, obviously, is a blade beam ability for uh, like meleeers, where they could shoot some sort of ranged ability. Well, you know, that's you have. You don't have to wear heavy armor as a tank. How about you try wearing light armor, which has better magical protection? Better dodge, and you get to keep your extra AP. Also, I mean, keep in mind, too, there's other options. Like, you don't have this option on hand, Rylena, but in the actual game, you could you could have been wearing fire armor and just completely absorbed all of Slipher's damage. And well, actually, healed yourself. Yeah, that's what it healed you. Can we can we can we run a test of like a two melee characters fighting then? Because we've seen the melee and a melee and a range. Yeah, who else wants to come fighter. in here? Slif er, uh, any any volunteers? I mean, I'll fight. Stabs. I, I, was I, was say, I don't think in here. Where's so, Sir backstabs a lot? I need to get healed first because I have one HP. Yeah, I was gonna say that rogue one shot backstab ain't looking so bad now, is it? Uh, I want to fight so far. It's still I mean, my only I, problem I still don't know what you're talking about. One shot. If, you know what? Hell with it. I don't care what class is doing it. I, I like it is not good for PvP if you ever have the capability to one turn a person with no like chance of counterplay. Oh, I agree. Converting to region say button. What, what are you doing? Heal all. I have healed. Okay, we're gonna fight Q now. This, is, this isn't gonna be pretty. But again, w w there's a lot of stuff we can put. You're going to have a lot of options. You can switch armors. You could have a party. I, I would never imagine that Raven would just do a 1v1 one, one one on somebody either. Yeah, the other thing to keep in mind is, like with the last fight, I still only won by one turn. If you I mean, like, me what, what would tight, happen I'd if like... we did that battle and you guys had your potions? I don't... I, I, I honestly... We could find out. Honestly, yeah. I, I don't know if that would really matter... Due know. to the fact, I, I would say that this seems pretty damn close. There's still probably some adjustments to do we can do over time. Um, to, I don't to balance like... this out a little bit, but I, 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 I still don't feel like that that was extremely completely one sided though. I don't like requiring potions to counter someone since they're expendable and like if you need a potion and I don't that doesn't feel fair. But I do know that if either of you two did have potions, you would have won because I would have won out run out of MP. Yeah, Raven Unless you had an almost MP potion. Ra the thing here is that Raven almost beat Sliffer, like because they were done after that turn. If somehow Raven dodged that attack, right. Which is what I was looking at. Cause I mean, like, because here's another thing. Like, what if Raven had M barrier on, or a fire armor on? It like Slipher would have been fucking done. They would have stood no chance. So, 
only thing I could the only thing I could realistically think of that outside of giving him a ranged uh, the melee like the tanks a ranged attack would be like if there was an ability that was like a charge. Well, technically, you can still hit people at almost any range. You're just not going to do a whole lot of damage. Well, I can already tell you this: probably knights and um, pretty pretty much any of the other melee abilities are going to get like a blade beam, where they can have at least some range target thing. Well, y'all y'all are talking ranged attacks, but like we have abilities that completely lock down movement or abilities or actions. Yeah, like, there are, there are options here that just aren't in the test that will be available at launch. Yeah, I think one of the first things a knight would be able to get is like a root to put on somebody. They can lock you in place. Uh, yeah, I think Zap and... Uh, Raven, Zappen. go into combat, please. In and... the actual system, Slipfar would have like all of her like haste slow stop abilities. Go ahead, Q. Yeah, a full system is going to be absolutely crazy for options. Okay, it's Raylena's turn. Oh no. Q made the very poor mistake of letting Raylena get that barrier on. They both have barrier. Yeah, they're both knights. This is going to be like that Metapod episode from Pokemon. Yeah, but Q, but Raven has way more range than Q because they have a pole arm. Not actually particularly relevant in this case. It's going to come down to who's lucky enough to roll dodges and who rolls high, who rolls low. What what um what armor do you have on you? Light. What armor do you have on, Rylena? Heavy. Okay. Uh, Q is that your turn? Oh, you're still going. Oh, he's taking advantage of that extra AP. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Let's go either way. Rylena's ended their turn. It's your turn, Q. We need to make those abilities physical. Or phantom. Yeah, because I'm losing AP by getting shoved around. Well, so is he. He's shoving her around more than she's shoving him around. <laughs> right, because he's getting three attacks. I mean, also in the final system, hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> yeah, the, those these abilities will be phantom, so that is not happening. Um, If you are on Firestorm, you can try turning on your move lock. It just grounds it. It doesn't work to that extent. Like no, it won't I mean stop just you from budging. Just ground sit. Control alt S. Oh, he he popped a potion. That's not fair, Q. You popped a potion. They don't have one. How did you have one? It's an well, inventory. You ne never used his. Ah, sneaky. R Rylena actually had theirs eight because they uh, because they swapped HUDs. Q, that wasn't fair. <laughs> I mean, it's Q we're talking Q about here. Q doesn't care. You have to remember, he plays VS. That is true. Oof. Who wants to... Do we want to do a rematch of that just because w without the potions? W do you want to rematch, Rylena? I don't care. What class are you? Knight. No. Oh, okay, they're a knight as well. He was doing more damage than I was. Well, yeah, because he, he, he put light armor on and had way more AP. He was, well, he I mean, was he triple was doing striking. more damage overall. Why, why is that? What weapon do you have, Q? Artifact weapon, probably. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah, and I have, a, I have a pole arm. Okay, Q, take your weapon off and just put the standard weapon on and no potions this time. Ry Rylena, get back in here. Is that an artifact pole arm or is it an actual? No, it's just a pole arm. It's whatever came with the night yeah, package. Like Rylena was difference? had no potions and was using the default equipment. Q used his fucking artifact weapon. That. What's the difference? If you want, I can fight Q because we both have artifact weapons. 
the artifact weapon is stronger. Uh, oh, unless it's weaker. It can actually go either way. Okay, can somebody heal the... Rylena, please? And Q. Oh, I thought I did. You have to leave combat, Q. Yeah, leave combat, Q. Okay, Q, and you have... You just have the normal armor on and the normal weapon on, right? You don't have an artifact armor? No. Let me switch to medium armor real quick. Go. Put on whatever you want. Just make sure it's the defaults, guys. It has to be a fair fight, Q. That wasn't fucking I don't fair. have an artifact. My artifact was worse than my than my common weapon. Yeah, I rolled trash on yours. Q got lucky. I got lucky. That's I why I was saying. Let, he he could have let me and Q fight. Because then we would have been matched up. But I just want to take a minute, despite the couple bugs that we have found, this actually seems like a fucking game. This seems fun. What do you guys think? This is better than the Light HUD, yeah? It's better than the Light HUD. You'd be hard-pressed not to improve on the Light HUD. Mm -hmm. Anything is better than, than Rock, Paper, Scissors. Indeed. Yeah, this is a layer of Rock, Paper's bullshit. Seriously, you have no idea how much this is held together with chewing gum and bailing wire. Rock, paper, lizard, scissors, spot. Okay, Big Bang Theory. Do we want to do a two on two? That yes. predates. All right. Who who Big wants Bang to go theory. in? I would. I need a, I... I need a volunteer. Two, you get I'm in there. down here. Wait. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Fine. I was gonna go get food, but apparently my Seven Eleven got robbed. Well, we need we need some we need like a support or something I, for. I, I, I don't could, think we have any healers. I could. We uh, had the healer. If you um, if you want, I could switch to uh, Dorian and be, be a, do a priest. Go for it. You back up to ye. Okay. I wanted to stab Q. Damn it. So do you so. Q, do you want uh, Sliffer or do you want uh, Val on your side? Sliffer. Or <laughs> get in there, Sliffer. Of course. All right, you know they're all going to run right at me, right? Well, that's the point of the system. <laughs> you need to protect your back lines. That's this is where the tactics part comes in. You guys, like we you were talking about like balance here, and this is how the system is yeah, going to be I for PvP. That. You I have to protect your lines and play tactically. <laughs> When you throw a sorcerer at a knight, the sorcerer wins because he's going to blow the knight away by by the one on one. But when you've got people to support you, sure, it changes the entire dynamic of it. Exactly. That's that's what I was saying earlier when we were talking about is this is this going to be balanced for PvP on an individual scale, like one v ones? Probably not really, because the whole game is set up to party combat. Yeah, the players have to rely on one another. To do I am everything. still, I am still going to do the best I can to make sure even one on one is at least enjoyable for everybody involved. Yeah, we're we're gonna try, but I don't think it will be one hundred percent. Sally, could you could you send me a, a priest package? Most mostly because this Remember game. to change your class to priest. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go over there and change it and leave combat before you change. Yeah, but, just keep in mind, no one has, like, their movement blocking abilities, so, like, we can't actually test how effective this yeah, setup there, there, is. There, there are going to be roots and traps and all sorts of stuff that the archers have. Depending on if we ever actually implement it, there may even be the ability to res out terrain that interferes with people. I don't see why we wouldn't have the ability to do that. But, uh, and I ain't done yet. But the other thing is, th the reason that the PvP is never going to be completely balanced is because classes aren't designed to be able to do everything. They're designed to do their job in a party. Now, as Selly said, there are things that we can do to make PvP enjoyable on a 1v1 scale, but it's always going to be more balanced for PvE and large PvP combat parties that can support one another. That I want the players to rely on a party for basically everything. Even when it comes to like crafting and stuff, like you're gonna have to go to a scholar to, you know, identify things or a miner to mine things. 
party play is very much the focus here. Uh, could you also send one a uh, just a startup package to Theo? Yes. Let me go ahead and give those to Mochi and uh, Alexis that's been waiting. And uh, sorcerer class as well, please. I think these battles are way more dynamic and much more interesting. Um, like, I mean, yeah, they're going to take a little bit of balance to get going, but this this seems fun. Like, this doesn't seem completely far off. Like, I think for a first pass for balancing, this isn't terrible. What is the focus in the priest class and then the priest package? It goes in your eye. Oh. Yeah, I was just about to ask if any casters were equipping that, because it's basically a magic shield that gives you magical defense. Nope, I have not been. To be fair, that's on me for not calling it offhand specifically. Did Rylena even have a shield on? Yes. It did nothing. Yeah, shields protect you against physical damage. Vel, where did you get that sword? What, this? <laughs> yeah. Can the priest uh, equip a sword? It's the uh, Solaris Katana. No, they will not be able to equip a sword. Okay. Actually, I don't believe magical defense is actually... Is acquired from. Did I ever actually finish that? Or fix that? Yeah, I, ha I had a sword. Okay, I sent uh, Theo and uh, Mochi and Lex the uh, box. Oh, yeah, I did add that. Okay, never mind. But none of them are in voice except for Mochi, so... For some reason, I can't click on the staff. Oh, no, I didn't add that. Shit. What? That's why I gave you a relic staff after, because the staff script uh, in that one is... Uh, oh. I forgot to turn it on. Magical defense cannot be acquired from offhand weapon. That really should be fixed. Oh yeah, that kind of negates focuses entirely, doesn't it? I mean, they do give a little bit of defense. Well, regular defense, yes. That's still more defense than I had at zero. Well, I see uh, Tui is eyeing that new katana that Vel has. I mean, yeah. What? I mean, this could, the katana model doesn't look like this. Okay, let's see this 2v2. This is going to be interesting. Well, hang on a second. And now it's going to be Where is Rylena? They're right in, down in the arena. Right next to Vel. Is it in their... Is it in their store oh, or something? I see. No, yeah, you have to go to the store. I'll take you to it after this. Okay, res out that uh, relic staff I gave you. I already, I already appraised it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah you're a skull. Okay. Theo? Hi, buddy. Sorry. Well, well I'll set you up after this um, this okay. battle. I'm here. already kind of walking them through it. Oh, okay. Wait, they, so can what they get we... their class okay. pack? Um, uh, Zav, come to gaming C with me. All right. I it and... God damn it. Enter combat, both of you, Val and Raven. Oh, I'm setting up my my hot bar rope. Okay. Make sure you put your equipments on and no relic anythings. Yeah. Just okay. this, just this default stuff in in the box. Hold on. 
I want this to be a completely even fight. Even though the only staff a... that I have was a relic staff. Bell is going for a pole arm. See, that's the thing about these equi these these templates. You could you could have a pole arm equipped and just flavor it as a very large katana, like a naginata or whatever. I mean, yeah. There you go. I give you a standard one that'll work. Ideally, too, you would actually. Key value one. failed to read. Check your uh, your combat stats and make sure those stats are actually on there. Real quick, because I got a key value failed to read for some reason. From who? I don't know who it was. It may have been me because I was I was in a weird state. I had a uh, I had, I forgot I was in combat. No, it came from Raven. Yeah, it was Raven staff. Oh, yeah, oh me. Read yeah. that staff again, Raven. Didn't didn't we say that there was a problem with the staff earlier, Sully? So yeah, that'd be a new one. Hey, Sully. Huh? Uh, Theo asked for the sorcerer. Yeah, I came over on them, and they didn't have their title set to their class, so I didn't know what they were supposed to be. Sorry. Okay. Is that even equipping or anything, Raven? It looks like it. What, what did you say that the issue... I'm sorry, Sally. What, what did you say the issue with the staff was? The the staff and the priest and sorcerer kits did not have their script turned on, so I turned them on and gave them all new copies, like at the uh, beginning of the um, test. Is that one on? No. So, for some reason, I only have 50 HP. I only have 50 HP. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're squishy and because you're a priest. Also... For some reason, my MP dropped down to 28 of 185. That's something. Then your class. class is yeah, your class isn't set properly, which is weird because it says you are a priest, and I yeah. know it did not say you were a priest. Enter before. and exit combat, and then re-enter combat again. Let's see if it says. Not even. What are you supposed to have? I have 185 max. I have 34 currently. Oh, no, in that's turn. normal. Um, and just yeah. like, end your turn real quick. Do priests get energized? They do. Yes. Want me to just spam energize until I'm full again? That's what I've been doing. Yeah, go ahead. Well, bear, bear in mind, energize restores MP on turn, so it'd be the same as just spamming the turn button. Well, but it makes it go faster. Yeah. But like if you just spam it without ending your turn, it won't do anything. So is that staff not working that Raven resed out, uh, Sully? No, that, that one, one should be that one should be fine. The, well, the one in their kit was the one that was broken. They got they got a weird error. That says yes, I see that. I have no idea what that is. Jesus, I'm just telling you. Uh, Raven, when you hit gear stats, did that staff, like, I know it's showing up, but did it increase your stats at all? Uh. Two, uh, three plus one D, well, the, the attack is two plus two D, twenty-five. Please I mean, it's, correct. it's correct, then. We're so it, enabled it. All rolls. What? You can turn on verbose mode in the API system to view all rolls. Oh. Okay, well, enter combat, guys. And, uh... Raven's team is gonna go first, so you guys take your turn. It'll be Raven. Hang on, my, my fucking... It's a hot, my hot bar, my ability hot bar is fucking up. What's wrong? We are going to die. It's, it's not showing up my my abilities on 4 and 5. Try they may have come detached. Uh, yeah, also yeah. did you try to equip them when you were in combat mode? Because you've been in combat mode this whole time. Yeah. God damn it. Exit combat, and now do it. 
Make sure you wear them. They're not equipment. I know. When you're ready, put them back well, on. I still don't have my maximum MP yet. Yeah, spam, just spam, spam turn. turn. Yeah, until it gets and gets it back up, please. None has entered combat. Yeah, that means they haven't configured, they haven't set up their data HUD yet. Do you have it now, Raven? I'm working on it. Well, go work on it! So, Ward is uh, magical damage and Aegis is physical damage? No. Well, yes. Uh, so, Barrier is a single target physical damage barrier. Ward is a single target magic barrier. And Aegis is a, is a AoE barrier. Physical barrier. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I don't have Barrier, I have Aegis and not... Yeah. I wish we could combine effects so that they could have a physical and medical barrier. Yeah, because the, the idea for Aegis originally was a supreme barrier that did both. Why do you still roll when you use Energizer buffs? Also, Rylena does need a heal. Yeah, I'm down 5 HP. Oh, I guess you could just heal yourself, couldn't you? <laughs> Hang on. Applying... Region-wide heal. Please ensure you are not in combat. Mela, can you toss Von Kaiser over there, the HUDs? Yes. Where are they? Okay, oh, I, I am now full. They have the HUDs, you will have to take care of the rest. Okay, uh, Raven's team can go first. Raven will go Hold first. Hold on. Raven still has the energized buff. You should intern until that goes away. Meanwhile, two is over there staring at Fred and, and I'm still stuck in the uh, energized animation. It's, that's, like that's I said, no, that doesn't not end. Stuck. It just It's a very long animation. It'll go away. So Raven will go first, then Val, then Q, then Sliffer, in that order. Okay. So Q, we're Raven, gonna it die. Your, it's your turn first. No, no items. Sally, Yoko's not here, so it's just not the same. Yeah, I even put special descriptions in there for Yoko. Like if you click his hands, you'll see something. It's a sweet roll, isn't it? Oh no, it's just a text message. Okay, uh, it's Val's turn. Whoa, that fucking destroyed Sliver. Like I said, I wasn't winning by a lot. Your turn, Q. Use turn. Yeah, why is taunt for zero turns? Taunt doesn't do anything in PvP. It's only taunt, for PvE ability. What the, the taunt does is, you may have noticed, or maybe not, but mobs have a... Uh, Hit counter, basically, and when they reach that value, they hit. Taunt basically forces the mob to attack the taunter and then resets its counter. Uh, Sliver's turn. I like how quick the combats are, though. They're not, like, super lengthy. They feel right. Yoop. Yay. And there goes Sliffer. It is now right. Uh, hold on. It's going to be Raven's Off turn. Off to the races. Okay, now it is Raven's turn. 
may have to raise sorcerer AP costs just a little tiny bit. Uh, no, that's actually partially because my AP is bugged, remember? Oh, shit, that's right. Wait, it's still bugged? It's at 13. The HUD changed. How the hell are you still bugged? I have 13 AP right now. Cheater. Okay, it, it's Fel's turn. Wait, can you be warded and barrier at the same time? You can only have two effects on you. Uh, Q, it's your turn. Oh god, he's going for the healer. I mean, he should. I have to let Barrier up. Ow. Ow. Okay, it's uh, Sil Silver's turn. Oh god, they're gonna target the- No! Fell lost their again. healer! First rule of combat. Healer dies first. Alright, Bell's turn. I'm gonna predict he's gonna be able to finish off Q, but probably not Slipper. I think he's basically thrown. Th knows he's not gonna win this. Well, he's still got Curse on him. But he also has Barrier. True. That's only that only affects Q's stuff. It doesn't affect Slipper. Yeah, because I didn't realize he was cursed, and so my, I wasted my ward. We're still not entirely sure. Well, it's if one it friendly and one, uh, one friendly and one hostile. Yeah, we're not entirely sure if like it does register more status effects, but all it does we know not. Is it, it is only displaying two. It's not registering it because I'm taking I'm I'm taking less damage physically. Yeah. Well, we know that. We can see the barrier, but... No, I'm, I'm just saying, curious I'm... if that ward is actually working or not. It's not, because when Slifford did damage, I remember from what happened earlier, it's it's still the same, roughly around the same uh, no. damage, the, theoretically. Zab said a while ago that you can only have one buff and one debuff, and if it's overridden, it just drops the uh, old one. It is the cheapest way to cure your debuffs. Put one on yourself. See? That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. We need some, uh... We need and some flex tape. This fight with this... So, yeah. Verticality-wise, verticality, in, verticality wise, that puts that puts melee at a real big disadvantage, but that makes yeah. sense. Melee is definitely going to get, like, a blade beam and a root. I can tell you that for now, for sure. They need it. They need it badly. <laughs> Yeah, because, like, the moment Sli I could have, if, if Slipher couldn't cha couldn't run away, I would have been able to go on Slipher, and then it would have been just two melee people fighting it out, which theoretically should be the case. Right. So it's but not like this game is imbalanced, it's just that you guys don't have all of the abilities that the, the mages have, because we focus way oh, more on Oh, no, it's still making... imbalanced. It, I mean, There's it's probably a little bit. <laughs> There's presently no reason for anyone in a PvP match to wait around to stick on fighting the front line when the, with turn-based combat they can go right past that front line and get at something like Slipher or Raylina as Father Dorian, you know. Well, that's, yeah, that's thing why that we want to get if... is Taunt actually working in PvP and we have several theories about how we can do that. Because that's going to be a big game changer too. Uh, no, we don't. Like I, like I said, it 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 all seems like everything. It makes sense. It's just like it, like we said, right now. Which very very cl clearly, if we all would have stayed in the arena and Slifer couldn't escape out of it, and she would have to move around because going up those stairs and all that. That is a lot of verticality on a tank or a melee user, mm -hmm. and it drains my AP really badly compared to how much AP I have right now to go up against somebody. Like, moving up to the top 
from where I was standing here, if I'm an initiate, if I initiate combat, I'm at 19. Going up to where Slifer was right here, I'm already at half my AP, and Bear that's walking. Bear in mind, Slifer also has like 50 percent more AP than they're supposed to have. There's I, also yeah. going to be uh, ranged weapons. In fact, there are. They're just not in this test. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff I mean, we didn't include in this test, so this is half, like, this needs to be tweaked a little bit balance-wise, but also we need the rest of the abilities in the game. It's because I designed this test for PvE, and then, yeah, or we're I, not doing PvE. Well, Just for the record, if you try and use a non-ranged capable weapon at a range beyond your weapon's range, it does 70% damage. Well... You can still hit someone with a sword from a distance. That out of the way. I don't way, know how, but you can. Mr. Grumpy Butt, go get out Fred and let's do some PvE. I'm not complaining. It's good data. I'm just stating fact that I have also, balanced all this for PvE. I have three more AP than I should for reasons unknown to anyone. Uh, I'm just well, special, I guess. I, I want to move on to PvE anyway. I, I think I've seen enough. We have a lot of work here to do, but... um. <clears throat> I think this went rather well. I think this feels pretty good. It just isn't finished. What do you guys think? Hey, uh, Slipper, Slifer, whatever the hell, would you mind uh, going down and tapping the job or the class change button again, the sorcerer class, and see yes. if you still have that AP afterward? I have fun. Uh... I have a hunch. It's okay to say bad things, guys. I, you, you don't have to clam up if I ask you what you think. So this hunt is ass, and the guy who made it needs to be shot. Uh, I anyway, still have uh, 13 AP. Testra is here, and I okay, just can you switch Testra to Rogue? Their... Can you give Testra their stuff, Sally? I'm gonna assume they're gonna want to be a tank. Do you still have 13? <laughs> I still have 13 AP. Okay, that means that that problem is located there. How the hell did... Uh, the mages just get more AP for some weird reason? No, the interesting thing is that would have involved immediately de uh, unequipping all gear, which means it's not coming from gear, it's not coming from abilities, it's just... What? what wait, I'm just special. What, what armor are you wearing? Uh, now no armor because it unequipped it all. Yeah, when you change class, it automatically unequips all your stuff, so you don't carry some illegal gear through. Mm. You can't you can't bring like a broadsword to a mage? Interesting. You're not gonna put a battle axe on a priest. You've obviously Stats never talked wise. to a dwarf. That's a paladin <laughs> and a hammer. Muscle Wizard cast fist. I, I cast fist. But yeah, give me a Oh, okay. Yeah. But ignore give me, that. Give me a second. I am fixing Fred. And yeah, just the pop-up confused was crap. Please make sure it's the version of Fred that has like the in-turn counter attack as well, because I really want to test that. No, no. By the way, are... your dinos are stacking up again. I know. The the, the scripts are. The, the, Hang on, I'll go clear him out. Please be quiet. Selly, go ahead. You just put the Sephiroth HUD on this half and are just going to town on the dinosaurs? No, I just have a spell called uh, Dev Bullshit. So the Sephiroth HUD. I don't know what that is. Okay, guys, stand by. Sully's going to res us a big, a big uh, scary monster to attack. But we're going to have to work together in a party to, to fight it. This means that tanks are actually going to have to use their taunts. 
to uh, keep aggro of that boss because they will they they generate a resource I like to call hate, but other people know it as different things. So Trey wants to know about his uh, divine strike. It's not ready yet. Uh, Trey, Trey's gonna get his own class. Do you guys like the effects and the sound effects that we're putting in? Hey, Slipher, can you enchant that at all? Firestorm is bugged for me, so I can't hear shit. Just curious. Oh, yeah, by the way. I don't this... have... Oh, yeah. Um, physical, magic, or health? Uh, physical. Uh, Sarah, you're going to need to go over to where, like, the, the crystal is and click that account creator cube. And then you're going to pick the class and the job class that you want from one of those cubes. Okay, so it increases the um, the maximum amount of the roll. All right. Yeah, and it's typically not super great. I've been poking Sally about that. To your right. To your right, uh, Sarah. Do not click the classes. Click the key creator cube first. Right next to you. Actually, I'm surprised it increased your stats on that at all, because when I tried doing it on my artifact staff, it didn't change the stats. It actually lowered them. Okay. Huh. Those of you, uh, this is going to be a, a hard fight. You can use your relic gear. I'm going to give people potions and stuff. If... Can I get somebody who's an enchanter to come enchant my artifact yeah. weapon? If, if you need, if you have artifacts that need to be enchanted or... or um... Physical, magical, or health. All physical. This is the time to do it. Who needs potions? I shall give you one potion. There you go. Also, I need a potion. Okay. I need a potion. I need an adult. There are no adults. Only legal age juvenile delinquents. That was almost your legal age. T, can I test this out on you? Test what out on me? Just damage ability. Uh, sure. Hmm, 12. Interesting. Hmm. And that was the roll of 60. What, Dan, what was that? Your... That was the Your... slash. Right, that was just that was the ability. The regular attack would be this with eleven. Want to roll a thirteen? That seems very odd. Yeah, because you, I mean, you did get the the higher defense break on the uh, ability, which is also weird because that means that your normal attack has a higher damage ratio. Oh, whoa! Hello. Did I give everybody a potion? Something's just, it's like shit started. What the fuck? Yeah, that's only 12 damage no matter what I do. Huh, interesting. Anybody not get a potion? I don't even see Fred's model. What the fuck? So Fred is currently a thread. What have you done to Fred? Oh, fuck me. Did he break again? 
<laughs> yeah. No, he never got fixed. No, no, I just spent the past ten minutes fixing him. Oh. Uh, Res had a new mic. Like, he's not the root prim, so he shouldn't be doing that. Just unlink him from the whole thing. Delete him manually when it's done. But that won't be cool. Because then he won't do his fade out. Uh, <laughs> Craig asked what? Uh, damn, you're, you're sensible to, suggestions. He's decided to be a health bar. My mama told me I could be anything, so I became a health bar. I don't know why that's occurring. I assume it's something to do with changing the link set like that. Why are they all 94, Possibly. though? Oh, no, I don't care. That's actually a really good question. I don't know. Oh, by the way, the reason the number has to go first like that is, oh, it actually shows up in the targeting system. Otherwise, it truncates after 11 more characters, and... Uh, you never see what the number is. For short named enemies, that's fine. But for things like left said Fred. I was about to say said? What the hell is a said? You'll get it. Y'all just too young to appreciate that one. <sighs> yeah, you'll get it. Repeatedly in the face. Oh, no, Fred got downgraded. I mean, it did get downgraded. The last model I had of him had, like, lightning eyes and thunder hands. I was just too lazy to set up all the particles again. Oh. You didn't save the boss? I did, but it was on the old combat system. Is Something he going to be able to model. take this amount of people? Probably not. Uh, I'm wondering if this amount of people will be able to take him. Okay, well that's... With the hmm. people that's all in the arena? Yeah. Everybody that's gonna fight, jump down into the arena. The nice okay. thing is... <laughs> that previous issue where you can only have 16 players nearby in the targeting system does not affect the... Uh, it's gonna the prioritize PvE. Can we yeah, get a mass always heal? It runs two different events. There's one for players and one for objects. And Fred's an object. They also list first. Is Theo set up? They actually don't. They've been getting mixed into all my menus. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. Firing region-wide heal in three, two, one. Why is Fred countering? Oh. Because somebody's ending turn near him. <laughs> Somebody okay. is getting a painful lesson. Go go away no, if you're going to end turn. It, it doesn't happen until somebody actually attacks the enemy. They'll just keep countering because that's what they do. Is everybody actually ready to do combat? Because I don't want to have like 80 minutes of like combat and somebody in the middle of it just be like, I, I can't attack. I didn't set up my HUD. You didn't wait for me. I'm just waiting for you to tell me to go into combat. Yeah, don't go into combat yet. I'm ready. Can, Sally, can you give Von Kaiser a weapon package? Which one do they need? Uh, it looks like they're a priest. And they're probably going to have no idea how to equip anything because they weren't here and they're showing up like an hour or like two hours late. So I cannot stress enough that this is going to be very party based. You guys are going to have to have your tanks using taunt and attacking to keep the aggro on them. You're probably going to want to keep buffing and healing the tanks and casting barrier on them. Obviously. So they can take all the damage while you guys hit them. So you're going to have to coordinate on these bosses or it's just going to wipe you. Y'all understand? Uh, are we going to do this the actual way where they, uh, they go one by one? I don't think PvE was ever needed to set up that way. 
Uh, well, we can if you want. Well, considering every end turn is going to bump this boss's counter, counter up. Yeah, it, the whole thing was designed to be turn-based, not spam-based. Okay, well, let me get a turn tracker out. Fred doesn't need an enrage. Oh man, I remember this thing. Uh-huh. Why is it no modify? Yeah, okay, really if you're going finish. to participate in the combat, click the red thingy there and um, uh, press join combat, and I'll shuffle you into a turn order. Now, the, the monster just takes its own turn, so we don't need to put him in here. With each hit on each part, it will get a little bit more red and a little more angry. When it reaches full-on red, it will punch whoever just hit it. Taunting can clear this state by causing it to immediately attack whoever taunted it. So pay attention to the red. All right, I'm gonna. Oh yeah. So then, yeah. Could you repeat that, Zav? Each part of the monster has its own aggro gauge. This is indicated by the amount of redness in the hover text over each part. As that level of red increases up to full red, uh, it prepares an attack. When it becomes entirely red, it will hit whoever last hit it. Although, uh, if it's the version Song put in, I think it uh, turns red when it counterattacks. So, like, you hit it, and then it turns red, and then it counters. Yeah. So it's like the step before the red you need to watch out for. It. Each monster can have its own number of steps before it actually hits back. Uh, this number will not probably be disclosed at any time. And ending turn next to this monster will cause it to also increment. So if you go around spamming end turn, it's going to punch you repeatedly. I wonder if there's a way to randomize that on monster res. Yeah, probably. Anyway, to clear this effect, a tank can use a taunt on a given part that will cause it to immediately attack the tank and clear the amount of redness. I'm sure nobody's listening. Probably. Uh, can I get you all to click the red thing again and then uh, roll your initiative? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did um, Von Kaiser get their stuff equipped? The one time I did want to roll is when I... Okay, Rez, uh, are you actually the... No, you still have your Light HUD titler on. We have both titlers on. Take all the Light HUD stuff off. We're going to get you set up real quick, and then we'll begin. So please keep in mind that this will be awkward. It's the first time anybody's using this system. It takes some getting used to, but... Things should streamline a whole lot once everybody's familiar with how it works and how to take turns properly. It'll get down to the point where people will just be ready, do their action, hit end turn, and the next person will see that turn end and go ahead with theirs. It's obviously not going to be that clean the first time. Don't be too worried about it. Okay, Von, um, okay, you're a priest, so open up your priest folder, and you're going to res uh, your armor, your chosen armor, and your uh, weapon onto the ground, click them, and then slot them. 
and then you can pick them up. Are they in voice chat? Yeah, they're listening. They're doing it. They're just not talking. Oh, okay, I see. You click, and then slot. And then when they're slotted, you can pick those back up. They're lagging into the wall now. Is there a problem, Vaughn? I guess they just want to sit in the corner and spin around. Okay, so... Is Theo getting in on this, or what? Well, we gotta uh, get Sarah in on it, too. They're Theo coming. has not responded to requests if they are going to well, Where did Sarah go? Uh, they went to go get their class set up after you told them not to click the trainer. Oh, okay, they're a knight. So, get into your fol your knight folder, uh, Sarah, and res your armor and your uh, They've weapon. already done that. Okay, and did you put your abilities on? And you're wearing the abilities. How is that Sarah? Okay, come down here. I guess. For the rest no, we're of everybody talking else. about... Sarah is Testra. Testra, come down to where everybody is, and then click the red thing in front of Fred and join the combat. You are as cool as them! Von Kaiser, go back over to where you resed your wand and... Okay, you picked it up. Now... Now, in your folder, wear your ability stones, and when they give you a pop-up, slot them. You probably want to hit the ability hotbar to pop that out first, though. You have five slots to equip things. You have to wear the ability stones. They're not like equipments where you can res them out. That goes for you, too, Sarah. When you wear them, they'll give you a little menu asking what slot number you want to put them in. You have one through five. Tell me when you've done that. That's fine. Are they are they slotted though, Vaughn? Well, there are three targets there for you to hit with that AOE. Yeah, just make sure you don't hit friendlies with the AOE, Sarah. AOEs will hit friendlies. Your friends were a disappointment. So that's going to be a, a, a thing, so like, some of you are going to have to back up and get away to pop off some AoEs. So don't just pop off AoEs, but anyway. Are we ready to go? Yep. Uh, it looks like uh, it's um, two yi's turn first. Yep. So I guess I better initiate back here, right? Up to you. You better work with your team. Good. I mean, there's not much I'm going to. Be able to when you when you with them on right now but what i what i want you to do um this is an extra step because of the turn tracker but you need to end turn on your hud and then hit the turn tracker and then end turn there so it will announce the next person oh okay 
So when you are done, hit end turn on your HUD and the turn tracker. It's kind of poopy, but... Oh, this fuck. is just an automated turn tracker. I can't cast poison for some reason. Is there a way to stop that thing from cycling? <laughs> it just does that no. when it has like a huge list of names. So with okay. too many people, it just cycles. Okay. My I can probably fix that with Zav later, though. But... Fix what? Hold on, don't worry about it. Uh, you know what, skip me for the moment because I'm having issues with my HUD. Are you sure? Huh? Um... My abilities aren't working. Did you equip them when you were in combat mode? You did, didn't you? I might have. That really kills the that abilities, yeah. Laugh. Go out of the... Go out of combat. You're in combat right now. I'm gonna make that a really loud noise whenever you do that. Yeah, this is why I want an indication. Uh, put... put Now I put did. your abilities on. Actually, make sure your equipment's on. Remember to slot your potions, guys. You're probably gonna need them. Potions are already slotted. Hang on. What if I want to slot like bacon? Christ wagons. Where's my bacon, Melna? That'll probably end up being a uh, food craftable. I know the first thing that Sully's gonna make. Corn! What the fuck? Okay, so corny. Did you put enough glow on that mob, Sully? Oh, hey, it's not actually triggering it. Why is that? Res them out, uh, or wear them, uh... Von Kaiser, just like the equipment, slot them and then take them off. Or pick them back up. Why is Fred constantly countering things? Because people are constantly ending turns. Okay. Why are people ending their turns? I don't see anybody ending their turn. Let me try this again. Okay, take your turn. There you go. Uh, am I close enough? Yes, I am. I'd buy that for a dollar. Nope, I don't want that one. No, I want the center one, damn it. It's the one with the skulls in it. Yeah, but they're all named the same damn thing. I know, I told Sally and they yelled at me. Damn it, Sally! <laughs> Because I'm telling can we, you, can, I'm tell you right now. If we, you if you reset Fred, will his numbers change so they're not all 94? Uh, no, only here we resin. Just manually change them. It, it's not a scripted element. It only happens when you res. Okay, so I can just do that in the name. Yeah, set it whatever the hell you want. You doing it, Sally, or should I? I'm already doing it. Okay. Then I will not interfere. Stand by to you. If you want, you can even update it to uh, 8.1 because that one doesn't spam chat. I see, Kassan is trying to get by up here. Sarah, I'm allowing people to get up into the rafters and move where they want to. <laughs> That's exactly what they're trying to do, Sarah. I know exactly, I know the size of the AOE I'm about to drop. And I know it's not going to hit anybody else. And yeah, I know it's going to just affect the boss. Yeah, um, to ye, uh, sorry, uh, Testra, when you do an AoE, it'll show a ring before the person casts it, and they have to confirm that's the ring they wanted to play. Not a fool. 
Okay, now you have 94, 95, and 96. There you go. You All can right. engage. Okay, 2E, put poison on Fred. And me. You're the one who decided to jump in there. Yeah, I was checking the uh, target thing, just as you confirmed it. Are you, Are you done? in combat? I hit the wrong button, damn it. Whatever. Make sure to hit the end turn button, and then the... Uh... And then in turn uh, on the, just click the button and, and enter. Which, which is it? Set health, help, check in. Check in, check in, yeah. You have to hit check in. Okay. It is Raven's turn now. Raven, you alive? Yes, just been waiting. Sorry for all the waiting. Probably gonna put an Aegis Barrier on everybody, yep. Is a good move. Okay, uh, hit the red thing and press check in. By the way, to correct an earlier statement, you cannot, in fact, buff enemies. You can heal them, you cannot buff them. Why is T? Oh, T okay, is almost it's Scarlet. Happened. It's Scarlet's turn. I may change. Ow! This. I got smacked. But Fred decided to punch me. Bye, T. Twice. I mean, that hand is for clobbering Tanuki. Those are equal opportunity hands. So what happened there? Why did that happen to you? What? What happened to you? He just got destroyed. Did you not see? He probably triggered the end turn counter. If you're the last oh, one to hit yeah. it, and it reaches the limit, you get clobbered. Yeah, he was so, the only one to hit it. He put that fucking poison on it and gained a bunch of aggro from Fred, and it decided to attack. Well, Fuck no, it's, Trey. it's probably because his hit counter has been rolling this entire time every time somebody ends a turn. Can I please just crash his ass? It doesn't Honestly. check to see if you're in combat or yeah, not. Yeah, uh, by the way, that just did a shit ton of HP damage to anyone who was in combat mode. What the fuck was okay, that? Okay, so... Jack the Range uses an AoE on 95 frames. One of those Raven uses... What just happened? I don't know, what but the I hell just hit me? I, I think did not, Trey, I think Trey decided to Trey show us something, something out of... Yes, Trey res something out of a magic HUD that just blew everyone away. I didn't take but any how damage. how did it do damage to anyone? Uh, because if you're in combat mode, moving drained your AP, and so moving further caused you to take HP damage. I it didn't. doesn't work like that. No, well, I don't know, it I was taking work HP like that. damage. That's exactly is there fall damage? No, Sliffer is correct. If you try to continue moving when your AP is drained, it will start draining your health. Mm, like oh, it's I never to. noticed that. I, I, was, that. I just saw my AP start draining, and I immediately left combat. It was the smartest. And and, and you were smart for doing that. And Melna considers it a feature. I did consider that's, it a feature. Well, that's weird, because there was that one time we tested, and I think it was Zav or somebody that blew me all the way across the sim, and I didn't take any health damage from Alright, so that totally ruined that. I'm going to yeah, put a note of it on like... Trello to look at that. Uh, Zav, can you please heal everybody? Everyone should leave combat first and move back over. I had to if I wanted to move. Yay, HP. Okay, whose turn was it? It was supposed to be Scarlet's. And we're gonna mulligan, mulligan that uh, that two ye knockdown because that knockdown only occurred because Fred had accumulated so many counters. That was just... Oh. Yeah, don't just be willy-nilly ending your turn, guys. You're that Fred counts those. Fred be like, well, of note, um, his um, titlers weren't turning red to indicate the attack. I don't think they do for count for counter 
for in turn counters, but they do for hit counters. Ah. Let's note, yes, that nuke was from Trey. Yeah, Trey, Trey said, hey, do you guys want to see my Holy Divine Strike and then just res the giant fucking, like, magic nuke thing on everyone? I, I can't even be mad at it. It was funny. Well, it blew my corpse clear across the room, so okay. I don't know. Okay, Scarlet, go ahead and take your turn, please. Or did they already do it? Why is Scarlet a tiny clown? Okay. Go ahead, Scarlet is now going. Uh, Raven, go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna allow you to free uh, freely put that Aegis barrier on everybody again, please, and then recover yourself. Please note that some effects may have little to no effect on NPCs, especially if they rely on movement to cause damage. And Scarlet's dead. OP. Fred too strong. Fred I asked Trey not I to do that again. I don't think anyone could survive that, even a tank. No. Thank you very much. We shall see. Uh, well, Scarlet, check in, please, to the turn tracker. Uh, click it and press check in. Yeah, bosses hitting this hard is a little bit... Oof. Well, I mean, we are level one. <laughs> yeah. This is also a balance test. Well, I mean... Can I, I just point out, it was stated that, uh, and repeatedly so, that... Being level one should not mean that you are useless. I to told an you encounter. that you would fight Fred. I never said you were intended to beat Fred. Uh, Alari, it's your turn. Actually, I'm going to go further from Fred before doing this because. I can see the color changing in the title, so it, it does. It is working. Me too. Probably, you guys probably want to like not be attacking right now, and building up your tanks uh, with tons of buffs, and then getting them to taunt the thing so they have all of the aggro first. You want them tons, hitting the tanks. That's not how it tons, works. You mean one? That, that's not how taunt works. Taunt just dumps the entire aggro stat all at once. It, it resets yeah, the Yeah, the tank has to also hit the person, so they want to dump the aggro stat and then hit, so they have the first tally. Well, the tallies don't matter, it's just whoever last hit it when it goes off. That's what Melna's saying, is if you taunt it first and then hit it, you'll be the last thing to hit it. Uh, well, no, because that's... Yeah, that no, won't matter, because... Uh... it to hit you. It doesn't matter if you hit it before or after. Val, it's your turn. Yeah, no, I was following Mella's thought line and then saw the, the Ideally, you want to hit it as many times as you can, then taunt it. Yeah. So basically, you'd be returning it from red to white. Uh, yeah. And I fixed the problem with the HUD. It turns out there was a lowercase where there wasn't supposed to be, which is why it didn't actually ever what part I wanted part? which part I, I wanted to use my AoE but Alari's standing next to me. <laughs> Alari's a tank, they can take it. You need check in, Bell, did you go? Okay, you're still going. Why is a rock weak to slashing? Well, there is no slashing damage. I'm making a joke. You used slash, and it's like weakness. Well, okay. rock. It makes perfect sense. Slash plays rock music. Oh my god. Wouldn't that make <laughs> it resistant? Have you ever okay. tried to play two songs at the same time? It is uh, Von Kaiser's turn. Probably want to heal and resurrect some people, I would imagine. Confused why there's a pony. 
Why... I, I don't know. Should there not be a pony? Maybe you're Should a pony. Maybe everyone a pony. is a pony. Concern! <laughs> Ponies are an abomination. Well... Yeah, we already did that, Sarah. You're just here late. Von Kaiser, it is your turn. Oh, they're doing something. I can see them moving around. This might be too hard, Sully. I don't think so. I don't think... I mean, it realistically, it looks like we could take out the left and the right side relatively easy, because I did, I did enough damage that I actually hit it. It's just everybody's attacking the oh, middle yeah, for some reason. It is missing a big chunk of damage, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's just everybody decided to target the middle instead of taking out the arms! <laughs> I, ideally, I, w I was trying to set up in a way where you had to beat the arms before the center point would even spawn, but I couldn't figure out a way to do that in time. My intent with my AoE was to get all three side get all three. Also, he probably very is likely a bit overtuned. I am still getting the hang of the defense versus attack rolls. It's okay. It's what we're testing for. But they were balanced around the idea that a tank can reduce incoming damage by up to 50% if they rolled, and then I put a shit ton of die on their physical rolls to try and give them that more often. Is Von Kaiser gone? I don't see that they ended their turn. They, don't they just know what entered combat, and they said they're figuring it out. Can somebody help them? Did you slot your ability? If you have a resurrect, I'd use it on uh, Scarlet. They're directly to the right of you if you want to step over to them. But you might not have enough AP after you do. Yeah, you have to keep the ability stones equipped. Or worn. In the future, as in the one I just wrote, uh, if you do detach a skill stone mid-combat, it'll just vanish from you on that part. You can't put it back. Okay, we're going to have to skip Von Kaiser's turn. It is Slipher's turn. Has anyone else hit the thing since it smacked people last? Put on the ability stones and they will give you the option to slot them into the ability slot. They, you have to click the ability hotbar button. So... What I'm seeing from this is that... Uh, leave combat and then equip them. This is going to be feedback for players to take in mind anyway. So, I'll wait. Yeah, there's no way to mitigate this. Von no, Kaiser, you, for need a mage. To, you leave combat and then put them on and then equip them. Oh, it's my turn? Yep, your turn, Q. Go taunt all the things so it stops killing us. See, this is why I wanted that AoE taunt. Hey, you can. Make it. Why didn't you? I asked, I asked you to make me effect for it, and you never did. Huh? Do taunts even need an effect, though? It sounds like you're just passing the buck on, on to me. Did you just make him immune to every status effect? Because he's not cursed either. 
Uh, like NPCs are only vulnerable to certain status effects. Yeah, we're still moment. working on status effects for NPCs. They do. Mm. Just generally assume they don't work. Fred's a badass. Shouldn't. Hmm. Are we gonna have that in before it launches? Because I thought, yes. like, oh. for example, curse is like you, you just take more damage. Yeah, I think it, curse it, is it's... actually in there. I, I he is not cursed. I don't think it shows up oh. in the hover text. Fair. Uh, yeah, I don't think it displays, but it should be. Curse is basically just a renamed bleed, which causes the enemy to take additional damage every time something hits it. Okay. Q check in on the HUD, or the, um, sorry, the turn tracker. Yeah, he's getting 50% defense breaks even against tanks. I don't and know if that's doing the... like 30 damage every time. Well, see, that's the thing. Because it's saying defense break, and then he's taking 30. Which means he is resisting half the damage, because that should be doing 60 if it was a defense break. It's Gwen's turn, whoever that is. Oh, there they are. Gwendolyn Nomad. Um, let's not forget, I'm not wearing, I'm not wearing heavy armor. Boy, you're gonna be chewy. Yeah, it's something to, uh, I don't know if this is explained very well, but uh, different armor types have different max resistance values, like light armor can only resist true. up to 10% damage, I think, and heavy armor can go all the way up to 50. Also, for some reason, Von Kaiser is showing that they have zero health. Well, I, I don't have time to give them the tutorial when they, you know, show up like three hours late. We're gonna have to wait until after. I think that's just a glitch because I'm seeing them with full HP. Same. And no, no, they were here just asking for the HUD. Yeah. Two, okay, they weren't three hours late. They were more like an hour and a half or two hours late because they weren't here at the beginning when we were giving everybody the tutorial. No, you don't need to be sorry. I, I will take care of you after this. I just can't do the tutorial for you right now. Unless somebody wants to take them aside and, and do it for them. I do it, but I'm busy coding. You have nothing to be sorry. sorry about. What we probably should have given them was an AoE heal. Should have just written a fucking tutorial. Just a, a manual. We tried, but nobody reads anything. Did you send a manual to anybody? They're in the class packages. Telly wrote them. Probably well, the easiest thing to do would be to record yourself setting it up, and then everyone that's what can I'm going to exactly do. How it's done. Well, on launch, I'm going to have a video tutorial on how to use it, and a written tutorial, and put it on the Wikipedia. And if they can't figure it out at that point, then ban them. I'm probably going to elect <laughs> some Peace player, turn. some player like uh, like volunteers that will try to help new players that come in and are asking for help. To e, I think it's your turn again. Is it? I think Tuyi is still recovering from their first turn. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it is in fact your turn again. We're back at the top of the order. Make sure you're hitting the turn tracker. And... Yeah, it's Tuyi's turn. And that's 992. Val, I'm yeah. sure you'll be a good volunteer. But yeah, I'm going to do my best to have a both a video and a written tutorial on the wiki in our hub. And I'm gonna get like volunteers that will like mentor people on how to set up and use the HUD. The HUD. I think you're gonna get punched. I currently have all the free time in the world. I'm about to get punched. Punt. Hit the turn tracker behind you and check into you. Because I just backstabbed the hand. It's Raven. Yeah, you, you triggered its enrage. Uh, this we got fun. smacked for it. You nearly killed it. It's got a quarter of health left. It's Raven's turn. Oh, now. it's my turn. Yeah, Melna, when you get to that point and you need somebody to volunteer, I I have nothing but free time now. Sure, so I'll, like... I'll make a special tag in our in our main group and give it to people. Oh no, Elar, you already did the enrage. It uh, buffed itself. 
Somebody's gonna need to taunt that uh, that hand so to eat to gonna... die. We're gonna need a new Timmy. Uh, to ye. To you don't get the hand. Get the back of that hand. And yeah, this is probably why Freeform is a bit better, so you can actually have your tanks go out of turn instead of having to wait uh, three other people to get to a tank. Hmm. Or people could be more tactical about it and set up their order of uh, operations beforehand. Also true. Ideally, we wouldn't even just have to, this wouldn't even be a problem, but that's going to take. Well, actually, given the uh, issues the sim was having earlier, I'm beginning to think that a, the uh, active time battles are a really, really bad idea. Very probably. We'd probably right, better. Turn. We'd probably be better off just trying to enforce some kind of turn order or. Oh, some kind of Scarlet, I forgot. I was healing the tanks. Some kind of end turn lockdown at the very least. Yeah, something. We'll, we'll brainstorm on it. Okay, Alari. Good job, check in when you're done. Alari keeps taunting that thing. And they barriered themselves. What if you guys, like, for things like this where there's a big deal, couldn't you have, like, um, something that would kind of force your HUDs to go in some sort of turn order that you could then adjust? That's what we're trying the to do. The real talk. hard part is figuring out how you enforce that without crippling the whole system and making it break when there's nothing around to enforce it. Uh, well, no, that's what I'm saying. You make something because guys like this are going to generally be in use by storytellers or GMs. So you could yeah. just give them their own version of a turn tracker that would lock all the participants' HUDs to it. And so they would have to actually hit the end turn button to send it back to the top. Or it would just automatically cycle through and like unlock people's stuff when it got to them. Yeah, the locking it without breaking it is the hard part. Sarah, that will be part of it. I'm planning on having a Wikipedia page that has a compilation of all of the stat abilities and stuff. And also, if you res the stone out and click them, they, they will tell you. But yes, that information will be wrote down. Actually, if you're not in combat and you click the stone in your ability bar, it'll tell you too. It's also in the note card included in your class kits, although they don't have the exact values. They just tell you what they do. Yeah, but that this the final information when we're done balancing will be on the Wikipedia and stuff. You can use a potion whenever you want. Whose turn is it? Bells, they're strategizing. Yeah, I'm, strat I'm doing what a normal tank would do, strategizing. Like, I, I hit him with a regen, but I don't know how much regen does. We need well, yeah. if you use your potion now, that means they can heal somebody else instead of you. We really need to get um, Von Kaiser back in here, so you guys have another healer. But like, they—I don't know what to do to help them. I think they've got it sorted out. Like they said, they just did something with her HUD and didn't notice, but fixed it. We've almost got the right side now. Uh, you check in at the end of your turn. Holy shit, that hurt. And I'm down. Um. Oh, right you guys side. actually didn't give me an ability that can hurt this guy. The right side absorbs 10 fire. Yeah. You have a weapon. Hit them with a stick. I must. I'm a mage. It's going to do like. Stick bug. Nothing. better than nothing. Stick bug. <laughs> Something no, it's I... actively worse than nothing because it's going quick. to make him beat up the tank. Quick, uh, quick break, real quick. Um, something I noticed. She she used the spell once. I got hit. She used the spell again. I got hit. It ignored the counter completely. Well, like I, I said, believe, I believe the counter reduces when it's in an enraged state. So below fifty-eight percent HP, it hits faster. 
So it just hits every turn? <laughs> okay. Or every attack? Okay. Okay, Slipper is skipping their turn, I guess. What? No, I finished my turn. Oh, okay. It is... I just can't- I can't do anything Q's because... turn? He's immune to all of my... Yeah, well, that, this won't be an ability- this won't be an issue on launch because obviously no, I know. you have I'm, access I'm just saying to way that... more abilities. Presently, like, with current configurations, I can't do anything to him. And current ability, or, um, I believe... What's strong to thunder? It's water, right? No, wa thunder strikes water. Brown. Earth? Earth. Yeah, I, so, like, Slipher would ideally have access to some Earth abilities to put on this guy so he takes more damage. Which will be in final release. Wait, if he's lightning aligned, why is he absorbing fire? Red. Oh, he has ice armor. <laughs> really, Sally? That uh Did you just design that, this thing to be a Oh no, that acid? that would be fire armor, sorry. Yeah. Uh, most likely Sally forgot to change that value. That, that's probably what it was. Probably in one of the updates. I got one side it. <laughs> Kind of pushed a lot of updates today. Oh yeah, I probably had it set up and just missed it when I Don't switched them to the update you gave me. At this point, I'll consider it luck if it actually deletes at the end. All right, <laughs> we got a healer coming up, and they have a res that they can use. But I think they only have enough MP to get one person up. Uh, me personally, I'd recommend doing it for the tank so we can just continuously take the hits for everybody else. But I mean. Well, but then with that we're going to run out of mana. Yeah, but they have an MP potion. Uh, buff, buff, oh, buff us, buff us our tanks. <laughs> yeah, both the tanks, and, that, and that's the part that I was confused on, because, like, I got hit three times in a row, and I just chunk, 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 chunk. <laughs> I love it. Don't no, I'm not, I'm not mad. I love it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> For casters, don't forget to use your MP regen ability that I fucking forget the name of uh, proactively. Energize. 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 You use Energize proactively because it costs no MP. Hold on, let me hand out uh, some MP potions to people too. But keep in mind, if you slot them, it's going to take your HP potion off. I don't know if you can slot them in combat. You cannot. You can use them in combat, but you cannot slot them in combat. The main thing I would say is that uh, for the damage I set it to do, I set the attack value way too high. Maybe? God, that defense break you message. Definitely did. Well, that's the thing is, I don't know because it's the HUD is saying defense break, but the damage you're taking is not a defense break. Like it says, Vasuki defense break by negative two percent takes forty damage. Defense break is when you take extra damage. They took less damage. Well, that's just the API message for it. I didn't yeah. have enough room to do two different ones, so it just spits out. It's just called Defense Modifier. Although I probably did actually set the attack by... Attack, by the way, rolls against your defense to determine the percentage of damage. Why aren't you casting on me? I'm not even in the... You just wasted MP. Gwen, what did you do? Gwen's throwing the match. It's the people up front in front of the boss. That'd be Sarah. Yeah, I'm thinking about modifying the uh, and Vel. the titler to pull that data instead. I might be able to do that without tanking the whole HUD on the targeting. Ah, uh, you may have too many people around you. Yeah, that is the problem. Yeah, walk up here. Hey. Feel free to move right up next to them. They'll be right on the list. That's going to be a real bugbear for events, isn't it? Here, I'm giving you another uh, mana potion, Quinn. It, it motivates people to cluster in groups. Like, 
uh, DPS, tank, healer, all in the same spot. This is your party. Help them. Try that again, Gwen, if you can. Yeah, true that. We're kind of fighting... Like, none of this was built to be fighting in a tiny little arena. No, it's not. You put it in here. Well, that was that was the reason why I asked, when you said like, okay, everybody who wants to fight it, hop in. I I figured you were gonna do it like uh like ha pick like set up a party so that way everybody can watch and see how party mechanics would work against it. So that way you'd have like one tank, three DPS, two healers, or something like that. That way you you can see like how important it is. Ideally, that is how it would be. And yeah, I did put it in here, and I just did not think about that when I did so. Not to mention, this thing would have absolutely aced any party. We can go fight the uh, the dinosaurs if you guys want instead. Man, there are a lot of them again. I want to see if we can kill this freaking hand, though. <laughs> Finish the hand, and we'll go fight the dinosaurs. And... Gwen, can you can you resurrect them, or are you just done? They're trying to. They're having trouble getting me to show up in the target list. Uh, it's just because move up up to Val. Just move over there. Yeah, just come stand next to me. It'd be easier. Your character name doesn't matter. Look for Professor Q. I feel like if possible, no, we should no, try to just no. not have that 16 person limit issue. That's really, really going to mess a lot of things up. Yeah, Michael. I believe that's an SL limitation. It is, but I also know there's ways around it because like. All of my fancy effect HUDs managed to get around it somehow, and I don't remember what the technique is because I haven't looked There at are when you have pages. enough memory to work with. I do not. That is fair. Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, I am bound by certain operating restrictions placed by the person who was programming it before me. That is not to say those restrictions would not be there if I had done so, or if I had programmed it myself. It's simply the way it has to be for the described program. Is it per? Is it a limitation per script or for everything in the HUD? It's per script. Each script has 64 kilobytes of memory that it can work with. That is the absolute maximum. This was sitting at 62 when we started. I managed to free up another 2K. So it's sitting at 60K. And even what then, it? it's right at the end of a, or right at the edge of a crash at any given time. What, what is it that you're doing, Gwen? I don't understand. You just keep moving around and ending turn. Trying to target. Uh, if you keep ending turn, he's going to hit somebody. I, I get. Mm -hmm. So could that be worked around if we offloaded the just the targeting thing to its own script? Uh, possibly, but it'd be a delay. Okay, well, uh, next person's turn is uh, Sarah. Ideally, we would just not have people clustering in one spot like this. Yeah, I wasn't saying for lunch anyway, just like considerations for afterwards. By the way, I, I was quite serious. Ability stones will have to have a hard limit of 10 meters. Oh, yeah, Sarah finished gonna... off one of the hands. That's going to take some uh, rethinking on the balancing sheet. Yeah, unfortunately the way they work is by resing the object directly on top of the place that it needs an effect. That has a maximum distance of 10 meters. Oh look, What the if hand, you... the hand is still there. Could it res an object that then reses the effect object 10 more meters away? Well, I was just thinking like one of the things my little spell effect HUD did is some of them just res directly on it, but some of them also just yes, make a tracer that then out. flies to it and Hold then goes second. off. Check in, check in to the, uh, click the uh, prim, end your turn, and then click the red thing and press check in, Sarah. Oh, okay, you're still going. Hey, Tui. Hmm? I see a link. Oh boy. Unfortunately, I would have to put out a new script for every single effect that's been done so far, and I think Vincent would kill me. 
Well, I no, because... You gotta uh, do it, you gotta do it. Alright, Von Vincent, Kaiser, Vincent, it's up to you. Vincent and Mello just make the effects. I, I go I go through and put them in the stones and orient them. Okay, I think that, Sully so. would kill me. Well, well, not necessarily, because like we said, we only made like 18 abilities. We have still like 180 some abilities, so if we're going to do that, now would be the time. After this test, like we discussed. I mean, if we did it later, I would sit down and do it with all 180 abilities just to get around that limitation. I don't generally mind doing tedious work. I will complain, but I don't mind. I think it's because it reduced its uh, Testra. I'm not sure. Yeah, how how is that working? Testra rolled a 16 and a 22 and only did 25 damage. It has armor. Just because you roll so much damage doesn't mean it's going to take that much damage. Okay, just making sure. Uh, Besides, it has a defense roll too. Von Kaiser. We're gonna. You're a healer. You're gonna need to resurrect some people. Are you ready? Unless this time? you do as. All right. I do need to leave though. I have work in the morning, and I need to shower and take a bath and whatever. Well, what did you think of the system? I think it. I mean, it's got some kinks we need to work out, but otherwise, it's pretty good. Yeah. I think it feels like an actual game. Yeah, it will definitely be more engaging than the light huds randomness. I think the July launch date's gone out the window, though. Probably. It'll probably be more like August. We have a lot of things to do, but thankfully they're all just minor things, as I predicted. Just well, lots of yes tiny no. things. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, think the, I think the July release window went out the window with uh, what Mal told us the other day. So that's yeah, going to be a big project for him. Oh well. Pop out your ability hotbar, and if you slotted the ability correctly, you should have something called revive. You click it, and then you select the name from the target list. All right. Well, I am off for now. We'll see you all later. Bye, Slipper. Thank you for helping. I'm sure we'll yep. find more bugs with you later. Yes, Sarah, only healers can revive. I've always... Can I... I mean, while we're waiting for... We're going to have to wipe Sliffer's key, by the way. It, it's the source of the issue. Well, Sliffer yeah. did participate in the other tests and probably have yeah. a weird key. Most likely... Uh, all getting data from previous ones, that kind of yeah. issue. So I think... I wipe all the keys. Yeah, so I think we, what we're going to do is just set up a new... CBS experience system and register everything fresh to that uh, when we were ready for launch. It was what song it was what song suggested way back when. Anyway, okay. it's gonna need a new. Von Kaiser. Anyway, press the button that says "Leave Combat" or "Exit Combat." Uh, when did that come out? Will we be out no, there at all? Oh no, not out of the. On the HUD, press the button that says "Ex Leave Combat." You exited out of the turn order. That boss has hit me while I'm down. Well, why do you suck? Von Kaiser, are you not wearing the combat HUD? Look at my screen. You see how there's a button that says leave combat? You don't see that button. Okay, press it. Okay, you're out of combat. Now, lay your ability stone out. Or sorry, no, just wear it. Do not res it out. Wear it. Just res... Or sorry, wear, wear the... Re, bleh, wear the revive ability stone. It will pop up a menu that says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That pony. Keep it attached. Hit the 1 button. 
pop out your ability bar. Hit the ability hotbar button. You should see an icon now there that says revive. Do you see that? Do you see that in your ability bar now? But is it in your ability bar? You're still not giving me an answer. Enter combat. Press the button that says enter combat. No, not the, not not the turn tracker on your HUD. Enter combat. Okay. Now hit the uh, button that says ability hotbar, and then click the revive ability, and then click the person you want to use it on. be looking for Michael. Well, you used it on yourself, so you wasted it. So we are skipping you. I don't think that you have a single clue of what you're doing. Oh, wait, no! You did! You Okay, I, I thought you healed yourself. My bad. You, you got... Good. You got Scarlet up. Nice. Okay, now nice. press in turn. I need those. I need those cars down. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Scarlet's been down. Okay, whose turn is it now? It's uh, two yees. Well, Von Kaiser resurrected Scarlet. Nice. You did. All these fucking people in the way, I can't get over to this other hand. You had to jump over me. Jumping consumes a lot of AP. We know. Eh, only four. Ah, you cannot use the, uh, the sharpen stone. Yeah, it's busted. Don't worry about that. It was meant to be something else. More is the pity. So I was going to use it for... I'll just do wait until we have samurai. Oh, well. I'm going to bully this thing. Keep rolling seven. Yes. It's getting more and more red. Yeah. This is interesting. I keep saying I roll seven, but I'm with a 4d29. Ooh, it's, it's about sus. to attack. Oh, yep, it countered. You see how it yeah. went full red before it countered? Yeah, I did. Okay, you done? Oh no, you're still attacking. You rolled what? It keeps saying I attack for seven. See now, despite what I said earlier to ye, that could have been a, uh, a time where you didn't want to, re to use the rest of your AP. You could have waited until it was completely red like that and then said I'm done and end your turn, conserve your AP for the next round and then got a uh, a tank on the next turn to get rid of all of that red with their taunt. Could have, but 
I don't think a tank comes after me for a hot minute. Yeah, you're, oh, let's see who's up. Uh, no, oh, yeah, it's Raven next. But everybody just could have skipped until until it got to a tank because Raven could have just healed. But That's it might have it, it might have attacked on an in turn though. Like sometimes every few turns, I believe. I think it's three. Correct me if I'm wrong, Zav. It will attack somebody if it hears an in turn every third in turn. I think it's, it's customized. Yeah. Customizable per enemy. So yeah, yeah it, it, it would, but it so it would have hit it would have hit two ye either way, unless everybody. Well, no. Well, you can skip. You just can't safely skip. Yeah, you can't safely skip. It would have hit yeah. two ye regardless, unless you. We had a knight going literally next, which we did not. You know, you mm. could always just say, "I I'm waving my turn." You don't even have to hit end turn. Just let someone else go. Right now, two tanks are down. Technically, that would be an exploit, Zav. Those interns got to... You know, the monster has to take its turn. You're negating it. Well, I mean, turn. not really, because they're going to have to end their turn before they can take their next turn anyway, so that end turn will come sooner or later. Mm -hmm. uh, tr true, true. Very true. Okay, who's going? Going, going, I've been going. healed. Uh, check into the turn tracker to ye. And then Raven, I guess, needs to do the same thing because they just took their turn. Unless you're still going, Raven. I'm clicking on Energize and it's doing nothing. Do you have enough AP? Well, I guess you don't need any. It's a free, it it's a free it's ability, just isn't not, it? It's not telling me anything. It just doesn't do anything. Weird. Sounds like you might need to leave combat and reset the stone again. Yeah, give that a try. Yeah, the, there may or may not be possibility of a meta, but there's also the possibility of a GM boot coming down in your head if you try it. Yes, Sarah, you have to keep in mind that like when we have stuff out like this, like they're going to be GM hosted events, just like our normal ones are. Like they're going to be sitting there watching you. The only time that you might be able to do stuff is like the monsters that sit around the sim, and they only give you like resources now and then. Most importantly, though, the way the whole turn order and end turn button works is not ideally how we want it to work. We're going to later look into options to streamline the whole thing. It's just. It's a big task and not something we're going to have right out the door. Yeah. It's also really tricky to do with very limited memory. Yeah. There will come a point, and as we continue to develop this, where this gets smoother and smoother and better and better, but 1.0 will probably be a little rough. But it seems to be, like, even this is working right now. We just need to adjust some crap. It's just closer to sort of playing actual D&D &D than it is to crosswinds. I mean, but, like, look at what we're doing. We're having a, an RPG turn-based battle. And it's mostly working. I, I think there's a lot of promise for this system. Don't you guys agree? I mean, it's leagues, but we on where it was before. Truth. I mean, is this fun to you guys? Yes. Fine with me. Even in the current state, even it being a little bit broken and unfinished right now, I, I think this is quite fun. I mean, aside from Fred's debug text that never got removed, uh, there's no spam, there's no nothing. It's This this feels like, you know... Yeah, and I feel like the pacing would go a little bit faster as we do smooth how these turns are being tracked. Obviously, we're doing and it by hand right now. As people get used to it. And as people get used to it, yeah. Folks are used to just spamming buttons for rock, paper, scissors, and then, okay, done. Yeah, this is more like, uh, okay, I have to stop. I have to think what I'm doing. This is more like playing chess as as opposed to rock, paper, scissors, as what we were doing before. You have to think about what you're as doing now. To, as opposed to brain dead. I'm usually, yeah. really, I'm usually really good for rock, paper, scissors. I, I like this. Like this this needs to be fixed in various places and updated and finished, but I we have a game here, guys. Okay, whose turn is it? It's uh Vels, but he's dead, so I'm gonna skip him. 
samurai in the next test, please. There will be samurai. Well, the next test is launch, so. We just need to finish I don't what know. we have here. Uh, I don't know. You might want to let Sliffer loose in the frickin' loose in the barn again. <laughs> we will. Sliffer's literal job. Who was the uh, missing person? I guess that's Von... No, that's not Von Kaiser. Who left combat and isn't in here now? Oh, it's Sliffer. Uh, Sliff okay, yeah. Sliffer, sure. you left. Turn. Skip player. It is... It is Q's turn, and he is dead. Skipping him. It is now Gwendolyn's turn. Up, oh, Q's up. I'm but he will have to wait till his next turn to do something. But they been not hit me. You should. Assuming that. I am wondering if. Don't move, uh, Q. I'm wondering if you have zero aggro if you die, like the aggro ta tally's white. It's uh, Sarah's turn now, Tester. I know it punched him when he was down. If nobody has any aggro when the timer elapses, it actually punches nothing. Air! But why didn't, why didn't it punch me while I was down? Because you're the last one who hit it. No, I was dead away, it still punched me. Yeah, but you still had all the though. aggro. It was just beating your dead corpse. Your death is irrelevant. Thank you. <laughs> What'd you do? It's better than it was back in the day. Or, well, I say back in the day. A few months ago, uh, you would be able to just be shot into the negative HP values. Not even just a few months ago. I think it was only like a few weeks ago when I just got butt-fucked by ten different slimes attacking me on an infinite loop. You guys now, are remembering you that have you a, got uh, grows, right? You have a tank ability in there, that taunt. If you see a red name, you want to use that taunt on it. Uh, what'd you ask, Seth? You guys remember to, to make your death saving throws, right? Uh, we don't have those here. Pity. It has a lot of armor, Sarah. You keep, you keep, you said that last time you attacked it. I mean, that's probably the maximum damage on your ability, or, yeah. Yeah, I think... 25 is, sounds about right for the max on that attack. Yeah. You actually... If well, you get a crit, you can get a... I did such a huge amount of damage with mine earlier, Testra, backstab has a stupid high cost. Well, and also rogues have uh, more attack die than tanks do. It just means you're rolling high. And <laughs> can well, Testra's rolling a knight, low. they're not using backstab. Can, can I point out... Can I maybe help simplify that explanation? Because I was just saying this to the person I was talking to. Is that makes sense to uh, that makes sense, Tastra? It's think think of it like in from a D D standpoint. You rolled twenty five. You rolled your max amount of damage, but you were still roll like your sixteen, your eleven. You were rolling past their a their AC, so that was a hit. You just got twenty five damage each time. Yeah, for the, your the, number of damage roll. The weapon is telling, like, your weapon can do a max amount of damage, but it's compared to its AC, so it's whatever it, after, it, you, how much damage gets through after it compares. Uh, so, Tester, are you done with your turn, or...? Twenty-five is still a lot of damage. That can really kill somebody. Because <laughs> I only have fifty-eight. That can hurt people. That that really hurts players. It's just this thing is. Yeah, very as difficult. a healer, I only have fifty. Yeah, so Tester could potentially like two shot. Well, mm. with without armor on, obviously. But if armor were in the matter, like if Raven were naked, they could probably two shot them. Assuming no dodges. Okay, Testra taunted and ended their turn. Wait, why did uh, why did that thing turn more red when Testra taunted it? Shouldn't it be reset? Uh, did you taunt before or after you hit it again? They hit it a bunch and then taunted it. 
might have missed the taunt. It didn't even register the taunt. I, yeah, I, it doesn't. There's no taunt in the the little chat box. It's Von Kaiser's turn. So Von, get another res out on somebody the same way I showed you before. Get Vel up. You're gonna look for Michael in the in the thing. I mean, it. I think it's possible for the enemy to dodge the taunt. I or oh, you're out it. of MP. Shit. If I recall correctly, there's a will saving throw, and uh, each time you do the taunt, that saving throw gets a little bit harder. Quick, so somebody give um, Von Kaiser a mana potion. Who's got one? I'll give him one. Yeah, because they spend all of their MP the last the last turn resing something because MP or uh, res is really expensive. Okay, so res that on the ground, Vaughn, and then just click it and then slot it in. You also have to leave combat. Oh yeah, leave combat before slotting it. This is his head note. Uh... Your attack rolls are not accuracy. You cannot miss in this system. But they that's can dodge. True. They can dodge. But that's wholly unrelated to your uh, attack roll. Oh yeah, that that's fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's no accuracy check. You don't get to roll against their roll. They just make a saving fine, throw. You, di you didn't leave combat to slot the potion. They only had one. Leave combat and... They already had a mana potion. It, I know that they wasted it because they didn't slot it. Now, no, they... I think they're saying it was already slotted. Before oh. we gave them one, they already had one equipped. Here, Tester, I don't here's believe... a mana potion, but again, leave combat before you slot it. And then re-enter combat. I don't believe using a potion costs any AP, does it? It does not. It does not, but... Good. It's supposed to be a free action. Yeah, I know I gave it to you, Tester, because you just asked. Leave combat before you slot it, though. So do you have no... You don't... You still don't have enough MP, Vaughn? I don't know why people have so much trouble pronouncing Sacri. Please note, names will always be cut off after a certain limit, but only in the combat system. They are retained in the data HUD and they do work in the RP system. What does Vaughn show up, or sorry, what does Michael show up as in the target? Michael? You're probably going to have to get right you on it. You may need to butt. hit next to view the next page. Is that actually a thing? Yeah, there's multiple yeah. pages of targeting. I think I've included up to four? You'd have to have all 16 people and all 16 uh, enemies pop up. Hmm. Maybe I should just set that to use display names instead. There is something seriously wrong with the targeting. PK 
can't find uh, the target like one meter in front of you. No, it looks like it wasn't. It was showing up as Vel, not Michael. They were looking How for the, the wrong hell? name. Random that... question. Hold on. Random question. When somebody, whoever res uh, Testra, did it say Testra's name? Did it say Testra or did it say Sarah? Testra was never revived. Well, it would say Phantom or Sarah. Yeah. Oh, Phantom or Sarah. Or or when they res Q, did it say quad? Uh, I can't say Q's normal name. Or did it say Professor Q? Yeah, you show up as Vel Bogard, and Sarah shows up as Sarah Ranka Bagabudu. <laughs> it's going off of display names because I do not have pro I do not have legacy names. Yeah, I okay, just I did I set have, it up that way. Good. Yeah, it's off of display names. That's why Val Vaughn could not find it, and that's not their fault. They're looking for well, Michael that didn't exist. Do you want it set to display names, or do you want it set to classic names? Me. Me personally, I prefer dis display names because I don't look at people. I turned off people's like classic. Is there any way to just detect what their RP name is on their titler and just set it to that? Um, that might be the. If easiest. I change the titler, yes. I'll, I'll have to add like a description to it and then anyway, scan the person's attachments. Vel is up. Vaughn, click the red thingy and end your turn. Oh look, it's Fred. And you might want to end your turn on the HUD. Oh, you did. Okay, now click the red thing and press check in. There you go. You're getting it. Uh, so it is now 2E's turn again. Well. Wait, now that I... We'll finish oh, this geez. hand and uh, wrap this up, guys, because it's already been like five hours. I literally have only 13 MP, and the only thing I want to do in this situation is backstab, but... By the way, just so you're aware, here's the output stats for those for that roll. Because I know nobody's actually turning on for boast mode. You can actually see all this data with each roll. If you're interested. Also, you can use that fixed sharpen sword I gave you. I can, but I have to leave combat to set that up. And I'm like... Would that be cheating? <laughs> Without being told to do so? Who left the, the combat? You can count that as me telling you to do so, because you had a broken ability. You know what I find really interesting is, that now that I got revived, I'd have to end my next turn anyway, because I don't have a turn. <laughs> this hand does not hit as hard as the other one did. Well, it's a left hand. He's right-handed. That's that's funny. <laughs> I, I kind of set them up so that the hands were the actual challenge, and then once you got to the meat, it's basically just a health sponge with that doesn't hit nearly as hard. Which is about right for a floating torso. Yeah, he's All got right. no hands left to smack you with. Not a deal with that. Oh, bite you to death! It's a flesh wound. What's the sharpen do again? It's just a... It's a damage buff. I should change drinks to quaffs. It's funnier. Alright. No, it's a coffee break. <laughs> Sippy break time, Sarah. I mean, drinking takes no a takes no AP, so is it really a break? I want to put in uh, I want the ability, like the the item names from Mario RPG, where it's just like they're called like pick me up and soda pop or something. So add them. It's not that hard. You're the one who complained to me because I wanted to use ability names that people would recognize from other things. Uh oh, Fred is dead. His hand is gone. Oh no. Oh no. no All that's left is the pain in the ass part. 
Yeah, but now you don't have three things fighting you. Do you guys want to continue or uh, end here? We might as well just finish the job, finish I guess. It. If you're having fun, that's what I'm looking for, is if you guys are having fun and enjoying this. I mean, initially it was kind of rough, but once we got the pattern down, I guess for lack of a better way of... I guess our internal pattern, not so much the boss pattern. <laughs> Maybe I didn't overtune him as much as I thought I did. I mean, you totally rendered Majors useless. That was entirely accidental, though. I did not mean to leave him with fire armor. Yeah, that, that, and also because in 1.0 there would be more than just, you know, a also few not useless. handful of abilities. They, they still could have used uh, Zat and Curse to make everybody else deal more damage to it. Yeah, that's... I mean, nothing we can really do about that, I don't think. Originally, they didn't even have the name going red part. Yeah, the red, the, the red name was the best thing we could do, Sarah. And like I said, entering and exiting combat technically counts as an end turn. It does? Uh -huh. Yeah. That was probably a smart move. It is Q's turn. Oh, they ended their turn. Q, check into the thing. There you go. It is Gwendolyn's turn. Hey, Sally. What's up? Uh, when the time comes... Clicking this should trigger a certain event on whatever it's placed in. I think Gwen's out of MP. Wait, how do I click it if it's placed in the thing, though? Who are you looking for, Gwen? Oh, there you go. Okay. Tester has regen. I feel like we did a good job with these effects. Oh, my bad. My bad. You guys like the effects? The effects are cool. Yes, it... Yes. When oh, there he's still going. Jeez. Why did you heal Sully? Cause I needed a heal. San is Val. The blue guy. Blue furry Vel guy in the front. Velvogard, Michael Charles. Vimo. Yeah, I think it would be in everybody's best interest to just set the names to the titler names, uh, Nav, later. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change the titler then. I'm gonna have to actually change its link set by changing the description on the titler. That way I have something to actually scan for, because they all have different names. Like every single one. Oh. Oof. Would it, would it be better if to select a target instead of a, from the, the bar, you just click the person's HUD or the monster you want to attack? Sorry, their titler. The big titler ball over their head or the, the monster that they want to attack? Would that be easier? No. The easier that would on actually make else, everything harder. Not you. No, actually make everything hard for everybody. At least the way that it's currently set up, you just target the target once, and then you can just click the little quick button that's in the bottom of the, the menu. So you just okay. This guy get. This guy get. This guy get. Doesn't matter what action you choose. That's that's the target. It's Von Kaiser's turn, but I think they're still out of MP. Is that true for abilities? I think it's true for abilities. 
Whether if you click if you click an ability, you click the ability and you have to target the name. Well, we don't have anybody to revive. Did you equip your yeah. healing stone? But the bottom middle button on the target selection, once you've actually hit a target, it will show you that last target every time. And if you oh, click yeah. that bottom middle button, it just hits that target again. Uh, well, yeah, that's correct. Looks like Vel needs a heal. Sorry, San. Or um, Kishan needs a heal. Who needs heals? Who do we want to heal, guys? Not Sorry, I. Though. I'm only missing 10 health. Don't worry about me. Either Side help. note, if, if you're a rogue and you don't have the MP for backstab, but you have some MP, that's what double shot was supposed to be for. Santa's healed for 30. Yeah, but that animation actually does get stuck. I was walking around with it for like a good 30 minutes. Uh, it just gets overridden by the next combat animation to play, or at least it yeah, should. Even after even after using backstab again. It yes, stuck. it did work. <sighs> Click the red thing and check in. I'll look into the animations. I think it's because I put a loop animation in. Possibly. Oh, it's apparently my turn. It is two Yi's turn. I like how we only have to manage our own post order now because the, the monster manages itself. This system is also completely compatible with having an actual player boss monster. I... Yeah. That's the other thing is like the STs and the GMs are going to get a version of the HUD where they can just set their own stats and I instead be the monster and not of... do anything with basic attacks of this thing. Move closer. Yeah, you Almost might have to... You, get. you have to... Hold on. I'm as close as I can get. Hold on. Hang on here. Try now. Yeah, he was just up too high. Yeah, yeah that's what I was... <laughs> well, also, it's because, like, the the point where 2E is standing, the physical hitbox of Fred is blocking them from getting any closer, so I set him to Phantom. Now, unfortunately, well, daggers are very short range. Well, they were even shorter before I balanced them. That's why I said I don't want any melee weapons only having two or three for oh, range. Well, I was going to say, he's very red. You might want to... I knew I was going to take a hit. Okay. Yeah, you you actually you just lost resisted your barrier, that though, quite nicely. Way. Yeah, but you lost your barrier in the process. Yeah. Well, and, and he also he also doesn't do a whole lot of damage because he has no arms now. So he's mostly armless. Uh, he has been disarmed. I can't believe you've done this. All right, check in to the thingy. And end your turn. Oh, you're still going. Yeah, I'm gonna burn up the rest of the MP I've got. I think I'm gonna have to uh, join in and uh, do a backstab on this guy. I'm saving. A I'm sitting here saving my MP right now to deliver another backstab. <laughs> yeah, what? A oh, that's another thing that uh, several support classes will have access to is a MP regen buff for other people. So that'll help you out a lot there. Maybe we all take the time an AOE to, uh, one that's broken over Bowery. We also all take the time to thank Tomiko, who like funded ninety nine percent of this project. Are they in here? Oh, they're right there. Like damn. They're over there making clickety noises and firing grenades. Are you done, Tui? Yeah. Okay, I checked it in. is... Check into the thing. You did not check in. Yes, I did. It still says next. Oh, it's probably because I need... I turn... I rolled in. Yeah! Turn, <laughs> option, skip player. Stop orbiting my boxes. It is now my turn. Weird how it said I checked in and it didn't do anything. What the fuck? Look, I have the fucking chat log saying I checked in. 
so offended. Shit, hold on. <laughs> Forgot I was a priest for whatever reason. Wow. Just backstab him with your staff. Oh, never mind, that's what we're playing this for. Let me put my crap back on. You can't, you took it over his butt. Wait, he don't have a butt. Do not snipe the Fred. Will Sharpen uh, do anything to backstab? Uh, it should. It's supposed to increase. I actual answer. Stuff. I actual answer. I don't know. I, I don't know which effect that's using it could increase the damage by up to twenty five percent. Whoops. I assumed by the wording that it increases all outgoing damage by 25%, but you never know with Song's comments. Uh... Well, gimme. Give give Fred's playing dead. <laughs> I will fix that in a second. Hang on, I gotta find the stone. I'm gonna try to do you guys a big flavor and backstab this fucker. Should do me a big flavor and compensate me for all my lost hair. I will actually. I was gonna give you some linden. Hair I did not have anyway before we started this project. Oh shit! There's your stone. He's a little bit rocky. Balboa. It's a right foul git, you know that? Looks like it worked for me. Wait, no, that's a back step. That's a chunk. Oh, he hit me. Yeah, you took the same amount of damage I did. And you don't have a barrier. I have armor on. I yeah, so do I. Access. Oh shit, I didn't even leave combat. In turn, okay. And check it out. You have now added two ticks to his combat counter. Yeah, well. Good job. Scarlet's turn. That target last button is pretty convenient, isn't it? It took really me... Is. It took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to notice that that's what that was. Mm. <laughs> A little too close there. You don't use AoEs on it, and he's also strong to fire, so you just healed him. <laughs> you just undid all of my work. They knew what they were doing. Oh no, it would that wouldn't undo all your work. Yeah, he absorbed ten fire, so yeah. And you did eighty with the backstab. Actually, well, why didn't I change that while I was in there? Hang on. Wait, that's a fire go golem? Close to Dender. Uh don't change it while you're in there because it, when you save it it'll reset his health. Oh shit, you're right. Okay, it's Alari's turn. Ooh, clever idea. Boss with multiple element resistances on each part. Or different ones. That was how I had it originally set up. The uh, 
hands were highly resistant to physical damage, but weak to something, I forget what, and the base was just thunder. Thunder. What, no earth spells? Check in, Alari. You can talk to, the, the, talk to Vincent and Mella about that one. They didn't give me, give me the earth stuff. It is Bell's turn. Yes, Sarah, that is an unfortunate... Uh, I don't want to say it's a bug or a feature, it's just... Or anything, but yeah, if you... What is it? If you have something in your item slot and you detach it or put something else in, the thing that was in there already will be gone and you'll lose it. So you have to be careful yeah. with it and there's not really much of a way around it. Uh, unfortunately not. No, there, there's nothing we could do to fix that without breaking the... Uh... You'd have to make weapon ability... Like, weapon and... You'd have to have some kind of item in the world you can pour it into or something. This is where you're engaging the economy and buy lots and lots of potions. Dead launch, to... obviously. You are convert. I mean, aren't you already converting all the potions that people have from Light Hud to CBS? <laughs> yes. Probably some portion of them. We might wind up needing to like convert them to sips instead of separate potion items. But we're, we're going to have to see how many potions people have. I'm sure there's somebody out there with like 20,000 other buggers. Yeah. Obviously, Looks we're not like going to pump that many in there. I'll probably Looks just like give Yokito that guy like a pack fucking... of 100 of the strongest potions. Looks at looks at Kyokuto with how many? Uh, it's Q's turn. How, uh, uh, what, what's the conversion rate for the rep? Like, how's that working out? It's, it's one to one, but the thing is, it's going to get split three ways because you have CP, JP, and uh, SP. And you're just gonna pick like how you want to split that up. So if you want to have, if you have a hundred rep, and you just want to spend it on a hundred CP, you can. You you can pick on how to split your your rep up into those three currencies as much as you want. So in other words, you get as much cur as much rep you want in the respective one, and then. Correct. So how mm. does? The while we're still going through this so how does the leveling system work then like is it going to be like a certain amount of experience points that you every, need to get a higher level currently currently right now every 100 of that that currency resource will raise you by one tier so if you get 100 cp you will be a tier two of whatever your class is i thought it was going to be something going to be an entirely different formula yeah, I was, that's what I was That's confused. what it is currently. We haven't decided if that's going to be the final. Uh, because, quick quick because aside. Do we need this? Should we? Like, is there a point to allowing them to spend on SP if SP doesn't do anything? SP? Well, what do you mean it doesn't do anything? It allows them to buy ability stones from a vendor. You mean the vendors that don't work at all? That aren't scripted? That don't exist? Well, I figured we'd get those done. If if not, then I will just have to use the GM HUD manually, and they'll have to come up to me, and I'll trade them. I'll take away their SP and give them a stone. You mean the GM HUD that also doesn't exist? It will. I hope so. I am so. Why glad would I launch Niles without problem. a GM HUD, Dingus? What? What did you say? Why would he launch without a GM HUD dingus? Oh. End quote. I think the GM HUD would be something trivial to make. Just Should be. We'll just, just make a note somewhere to make sure that SP is included in there, because I don't think it was in the uh, right. last version that we had. But yeah, like, if I have to do it by hand, I will until those vendors are done. Oh. Random question. I'm already going to have to do the crafting by hand until the crafting system comes out. Yeah, we're going to have to sit down and uh, work out some recipes for that. But what's your question? Uh, have we ever thought about doing... Have you, or have y'all ever considered the option of doing like... Like if it's like a story-based thing or like... Like training somebody? 
Does it make sense? No. I'm, I'm, I'm Kaiser, hard. it's your turn. Uh, flaming Tatooine hotballs. Ask a random question, get a random answer. No, I, like training a skill. Like it's a skill that you have to go through. Yeah, that's SP. If you have enough SP, you could buy a tier two ability stone instead of a tier one or a tier five. It's just I, gonna, no, it takes yeah. a lot of SP. Yeah, I, I get that. I was more so talking about like specialized skills. Like specifically, That's this is a not on the agenda currently because that would be expansion content. We're trying to get the base game out first. We already have enough to do, but it is something that we discussed. For example, uh, there will be some expansion classes that come out later, and um, some some of these classes require you to do a quest with a GM to get them. Uh, and same and some like certain quests, like Vincent wanted to do a thing where he. Like, if you go on a certain mission or complete a certain event, you could get a special ability stone that only you have that he'll make. Also, some ability, like, some factions will, some factions and guilds will have access to certain things. For example, to get Machina weapons, you have to go to the Empire. I'd also consider adding in uh, specialty abilities, depending on what job you were. But I had examples, and then I forgot what they all were. Nice, fun. Yeah, Keeping um... Keeping Q alive. The last time I saw anything on what the, that was, it was like 25 to rank up to level 2. And then 50 for 3, and then 100 for... I can easily change that. It's, it's not a thing. It's just what it is in there now to E. It takes 100 to get to the next tier. For every well, tier, because you don't like, want it, it, you don't want it to be too long for like that first rank up. Yeah. The catch-all is that we kind of uh, wrote ourselves into a corner by agreeing to convert rep into experience, and we're gonna have to just kind of wing it based on how much rep is out there in the wild, because we have no idea how much rep people actually have. I mean, realistically, people who have been around since the beginning probably have enough rep to go straight to the rank five. They do not. Two, two. I, I have, I've been keeping tabs on it, and two ye and Tejadora have the most rep in the system, even with the double, the double rep uh, bonus that they've been paying for, and two ye's only like I don't know tier three or four. Uh, depending on what system you use, um, four. Depending on what situation you use, I could do five. Uh, but I'd have very little to use on anything else. Yeah. So that would shoot me in the foot. You'd have no abilities. Exactly. So and You'd have no job class. Precisely. So it's better that... It, so I was already planning on doing four at the most. And besides, there's a power ceiling. So once somebody gets to five they're they're done like a, a, a tier five can still like reasonably fight with the tier one the tier five obviously is going to have an advantage but they can still fight and not be completely overwhelmed by the tier five yeah you don't want to like i would applaud a, a tier one who prepared properly and took my ass down yeah, like a tier 1 could put on an armor that can just completely nullify some of 2E's moves and have an advantage over him. If they wanted to. But uh, like if, they, if they took the time to no fi figure out 2E's strengths and weaknesses and fucking prepared in advance and caught me in a back alley alone, fuck, they deserve that word. Just a group of two tier 1s can easily take on a tier 5. A tier only raises your stats by 25%, so... Of base value. It's like, it's not gonna be a fucking... Complete murder power. fest, but... You're gonna be at a dis You're gonna be at a disadvantage fighting a tier 5. Well, and if it is a complete murder fest, we can fix it. You know, it's, yeah. everything in this... Most things in the system are pretty easy and simple to update. Are you change sure you fixed it, Sully? Fixed what? the sharpen you can't use this ability wrong class 
Who did you put the right one on? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, it's set for rogue. And I'm using the one you gave me. I'd give it to you back so you could check, but it's no trans. Anyway. I might as well see what this can do. Oh. That was rude, Fred. It takes so much MP to use an ability. <laughs> it does. I mean, yeah, just... it would have been better for me to save up for the backstab, I'm thinking. Y'all try that one. If that one didn't work, there's something really fucking because I set that to just rogue this time. Alright, I just exited combat to spare them. Yeah, because you gave me that and I couldn't equip it either and I'm rogue. Well, it was set for warrior and rogue, so I set that one to just rogue. Alright, this is the one you just gave me. Are you gonna have the issue if I try to pop it now? Just a test. No. You can't use this ability wrong class. The fuck. I'm wondering if it's something to do with the HUD itself, and I don't know. We'll figure uh, it out. Well, I have if one so, more then thing why does check. backstab work just fine? Hang on, I got one more thing to check. I think it's my turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Please also keep in mind, in normal circumstances, you will not be able to leave combat to slot an item. I mean, yeah. yeah this is all for the test. That's a lot of damage. Oof. This one will work. Because I am a dumbass and was looking at the old class numbers, not the ones I myself made. It would help if I did that. my turn. It is a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Okay, yeah, now it works. Yeah, it worked on me too. Yeah, like I said, I had set it to work for class uh, 16, which is rogue in the list I'm looking at. Rogue in the list I made myself as in, the numbers I programmed Rogue to have is 11. That was my bad. F. It is, uh... Laurie's turn now. Less than half health.
Now he has a thousand of those health total, so you've done a lot of damage. Fred, no, why did you dodge? Bad Fred. Because he listened to Piccolo. God damn it, Piccolo! I'm back for more! <laughs> Yeah, see now, like, unlike the Light HUD, this thing actually remembers that you're at 1 HP if you, like, you know, can't just leave combat. Sure, well, you couldn't do that in the original. You, never mind. You know what I meant. Now all we need is our music HUD back. Yeah, this would be cool with the battle music. Q checked in. It is now Gwendolyn's turn. Inquidian. Oh, that is their name. Didn't catch that. Oh, they healed. They healed some people. I'm not familiar with this person. Are they new or old? Oh, don't look at me. I'm the worst person to ask that question. Oh, well, welcome. Thank I guess you. you got in on the ground floor of the CVS, didn't you? Are you got liking it? Got some fantastic horns and glasses, though. Don't touch them. Oh, oh. Here you go, Sally. I think this will compensate you for all the shit that you had to deal with this week. Oh god, now I have to read all my shopping plans. It does, though. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for the help. I, this wouldn't have been possible without you. I mean, it would have been. It just would have been messier. But it would have worked. Slower is... Yeah. And the work's only beginning. Probably still very broken, because I wouldn't have thought to check half the shit that you did. And now we have Slipher that checks even more of what we didn't check. Yeah, Sleefar and I were talking a whole lot about balance and systems throughout the whole test, and I've got some stuff to investigate after we've had a nice break. Yeah, I agree, Gwen. This is still rough around the edges a little bit, and some kinks here and there, but this feels like an actual game, and there's tactics involved, and this seems like fun. Well, it'll be even more so when it's actually set up in the world, so you can go around to spaces that aren't crowded and farm up mobs and go sell your stuff to vendors to earn zil to get more supplies. Gotta spend money to make money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gwen, did you check in? Can I have that, Scarlet? Is that transferring? It is. Oh, wait, no, they're not turn. in voice. Oh, you are in voice. Oh, is that not... I thought it was just one gesture playing all those sounds. You're just a gesture fiend, playing them all at the same time. Okay, Tester checked in. It is... Two E's turning. It is? Huh, didn't send me the message. Huh. I'm sorry, no, it is Vaughn, Vaughn's turn. About to say. <laughs> oh, wow. Vaughn, are you still there? Are you ready? I need healy wheelies. I'm very heavily damaged. Oh, wow.
Thank you. Yes, it did work. Make sure you check in, please. Unless you are not done. You know, it occurs to me if this would have been interesting if I had done Monk instead of Knight, since of the self-healing tech. That might have been th made things a little easier. Well, we couldn't figure out how to give them their HP back when they beat things. Ideally, I want them to, you know... I kind of wanted the monks to be like Reaper in Overwatch, where the more he fights, the more health he restores to himself. Yeah. Something, something lifesteal? Well, not in the monk's case. The, the monk just thrives in combat, so the more it punches, the more it heals itself. Basically lifesteal. That it's it's essentially like, functioning life steal, but not flavored that way. I had just given them uh, self cast regen and heal abilities and a higher dodge chance. <clears throat> what this does tells me is that knights need a little bit more because uh, damage resistance isn't quite high enough to compensate for the lack of self heals. Yeah, save save that M that precious MP Vaughn so we have it next turn. Now it's time for me to get to back. Turn. Hit me with your best shot, Fred. Do it. Oh. Fred, you disappointed me. Also, Sharpen did not do anything. I'm still seeing just the straights 11s. Yeah, it's giving you the effect. I'm going to have to uh, poke my other Zavros on to see if there's any reason why the effect isn't applying. Who did he swing at? Oh, there he goes. Because he didn't swing in the last time. Or it might be it might be that I misunderstood what that effect does, and it might be that it boosts magic damage. Go in the guts. I'm a fucking piece of pizza. Um, so you're saying you're a snack? I marked that on the I mean, Trello. I mean, Scarlet over there what, looking the, like a snack. You put in Scarlet as a snack on the Trello? Uh, yeah, I put that in there. But no, I marked down that Berserk and Sharpen is not giving the proper buff. It well, it's, it's either that they're not giving the proper buff, or we've misunderstood what that buff is supposed to do. My turn. Because the, the way Song wrote it, it could have either been... What's the boss number? Uh, five. I'm sitting here with the using healing potions, Melna over there with the, with the mana potion doing more damage. Well, it's just because backstab eats up so much MP, like you're only going to use it once yeah. per combat or you bring a mana potion with you. Fun it's, like you got, it's like you either got to... It's like you either got to hope the boss doesn't smack you at all or... Uh, plan like you're going to get shield. smacked. It's well, this shield. is what I like about the system, is that you have to bring equipment and stuff to prepare for the battle. Yeah, according to this, uh, buff number five is shield. Oh yeah, I gave you the wrong number. It's uh, set to seven. That's focus. Increases damage by 25%. Yeah, question is, what kind of damage? Uh, well, attack damage for one. Let's see. In fact, buff equally for... It's Gwendolyn's turn? Wait, no, I'm sorry. It's Scarlet's turn. You will ride eternal, shiny and chrome. Why is Fun Scarlet a, a, a clown sorcerer? Fun fact, though. Uh, backstab is the reason I'm kind of hesitant to raise the MP pool on light armor. Because then that might make light armor meta for rogues. Oh, yeah, it is. You get, you, you get more backstabs. Uh, Q did. I did not see what Q did. He put on light armor during that Rylena duel and fucking backstabbed a couple of times. 
Backstab? I'm a knight. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, he put on light armor and it, you know, he was able to like triple strike Rylena. Yeah, of course that is also fair. Like it should be a trade. You know, you you can choose to take light armor for more damage or up for heavy armor for more damage resistance. I think what that means is I need to buff heavy armor. Yeah, it seems like light and medium armor are right where they need to be. But there's just no real good reason to put on heavy armor unless you're really focused on tanking, which is only a PVE thing. Yeah, so what I'll probably do is increase, put it back at the uh, 50 HP you guys originally had on it. I check in, Scarlet. And you are clearly a clown. I'm referring to the stripes on your very long witch hat. Okay, so it's calculated in... Oh, it's miscalculated in... It's Vel's turn. He's gonna kill it. Maybe not. Uh, only <gasps> currently applies to physical attacks. Okay, it's apparently it's not even applying to those. Yeah, no, it's mi it was miscalculated. Uh, oh, right, right. It was equals instead of an equals equals. Mission objective achieved. System also, I just... to normal mode. Like Fred. Sally. What the hell? I love how I got the kill too, you get some materials. <laughs> Fuck this, though. <laughs> I have yeah. to look at that. It was supposed to give stuff to everybody who was involved in the combat, not choose randomly from the list. I'm gonna mark that on the Trello. And to be fair, Fred was calculated, and then I just completely fucked it up when I dropped the new scripts in. Give me my materials, T! <laughs> whoa, 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 no! <laughs> Violence! As I was saying a second ago, though, I, I just adore Scarlet's color palette here. I love the pastels. You know what that reminds me of is Dragon Quest Three, where there's like a class in there. I think it's called the, the Jester or, or whatever, and they're like just just they're dressed up as clowns. That's what a jester is. This bit, this this dude just. Well, I know, but I, I meant. Be going to stab me. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> oh, do you want me to take you to where they got where this katana is at to you? Hang on, let me. This would this. be the, this would be the part where I dropped the Monty Python foot ability if I had one, but I could not find a mesh foot on the sure, marketplace. Actually. All right, give me a sec. Instead, I'll drop the hammer. Oh and no. Dispense some indiscriminate justice. We did it! <laughs> Nun uses blatant hacks in hole 16. It's gonna. Hey, so guys, come over here and let's uh, fight some of these dinosaurs. So you can get an idea of just, like, because I know Testra wanted to uh, fight some of them. But uh, while we're cleaning this up, I'm going to wrap this whole thing up here. But, ah, okay. Testra, the only person on this sim with class. Just hit exit Little combat. Small. I've actually never been to this store before. So you guys can just totally spam these. You don't have to worry about turns if you want. Boop. These, this, oh, this would be an example of enemies that are just out roaming the sim and you don't really need a turn order, you can just <laughs> wail on them. Well, they are elite, so they will hit, they will hit back fairly hard. But, um, yeah. the point, but while we're doing this and cleaning up, that's been the test of, uh, I'm, so I'm just gonna open it up to open discussion, like, what did you guys like, what didn't you like? I think we pretty much covered bugs, but like... Did you hate this system? Did you like it? Like, what do you want to see improved? Obviously, other than us finishing the rest of the game. Weren't you going to do, like, a Google Sheet questionnaire? I, I can. <laughs> I feel, I just feel like the, the, the most button. obvious thing is the system is not done. All of the abilities aren't in there. And that's about it. Nor are all the classes. 
So we already know about bugs. We already know about there's no classes and there's not enough abilities for this test. But other than that, what do you have questions, comments, or concerns about the system? Like, do you want to know more about how we're going to handle, like, events or the XP distribution or how we're going to do crafting nights? Like, ask. This is the time to ask. The time is now over. The time has resumed. Oh, right, no, it's gone again. F. Damn it. Nap time. Yeah, so we, we were talking earlier about the XP distribution, so there's going to be two ways that we're possibly throwing around doing it. One was the stated way, which is probably what we'll go with, where it's an ascending, like, amount of XP that you have to get, where, like, 25 uh, points will get you to Tier 2, and then Tier 3 was, like, I think 100, and then it just ascends from there up to Tier 5. Or the other way, where it's always 100 points to get up to the next tier. We're not sure which that we're going to go with. You look drunk like my dad. Smell of white scarlet. Nobody has anything to say about it, then. The teleport actually... Oh, yeah, it did, you just didn't bind, did you? I don't know. I'm um, gonna find out. No, I, I'm, I'm here. Not you. Well, this was the Q&A part. You're supposed to ask questions and get answers. Nobody has any questions, I guess. Honk. I don't have any questions. I'm just... Waiting for the next beta or launch. It's pretty much launch after this. We just need to fix up the stuff that we found wrong here and then finish the rest of the abilities and we'll probably launch sometime in August. Apparently rewrite the entire targeting system because people are launch liners. Launches with Saga 3. I mean, what? Will is used for saving throws against effects. 